Yeah, you're gonna sign left, you're okay. gonna sign right. Okay. This was really interesting, Rick. Um, thank you very much for coming on, both Thanks of you, and for thank you. letting me you're ask fantastic. all of yeah, I had uh, misjudged in what this was gonna be. I think you're on an interesting journey, man. Um, what was the uh, the judgment that you thought just said it was gonna be wacky town? Wacky and have a wacky and have a wacky and have a wacky. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, that's not this. And I was like, now we're having a sincere conversation about There's also people a... with like weird men, because to be that type of actor, you've got to have something. That's not how 99% of actors are. So when you have that, the closest you can do to explain to the upper before you come in mm -hmm. who you are. Yeah, I learned that late. And yeah, me too. After fighting for so long, so then they go like, in video film, they go like, He's not doing too mean, I think he's crazy. I love this conversation, dude. Yeah, I thought so too. Really fun. This place is uh, tricky. I didn't expect so many levels. Yeah. Well, I like to have a place that's kind of like my comedy. Just keep everything uh, on the brown. You want? Oh, okay. No, no, no. This is good. I have a blanket down here. Oh, that is brown, technically? We all have our quirks. Yeah. Right, get off my <laughs> ass. All right, I'm a good guy. No, I'm just it's my house. It's just, so, again, the first rule no, really throws you off. rules is such a false step. <laughs> Take off your shoes. Don't put, put shit Put stuff on the brown. There's a lot. Scoot, doo. Blabbity, blue. Scoot, dee. What's this, uh, workout system? Ooh, nice. So it does work. You could also do this. Nice. Oh. Yeah, but that's nice. just a hand. That's not a feature of the equipment. That's a hand. I built that. Right. Yeah, and then it goes up and down. Ooh. And make okay. it heavier and lighter. Is there nice a second one? Issues. Oh, nice. What's that? Is there a second one, or is it just the one? Um, I mean, not yet. Okay. But podcast has been growing. Yeah, things are going pretty good, so. So, it's just one arm. <laughs> it's just one arm's enormous. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't figured out the switch yet. Leave the jokes to me, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to come in hot. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, uh, the uh, rule number two. Let's cut all that. <laughs> you want to take all that out? Yeah. Let's start now. Jake's uh, a big editor. People don't know yeah. at home uh, that I gave you guys rules. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, you're an exposition baby, and so yeah, I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, the first rule was... No rules. The first rule is there's no rules. You set it up while I get my coffee. Uh, okay. Two minutes, I'll be good. Yeah, okay. Nothing, great. I could get you waters? I brought stuff. You I don't know about you. You, you got a sparkling should. water or anything like that? If not. I did before my travels. Let me see if I still have it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> whoa, well done. Um. So I guess, yeah, we'll set it. We don't have to talk now. He's not here. It's he, his show. But he, it's his show, but he asked us to host then, it while he was then gone. You host it. Oh, you know what I do have? What? I have a whole bunch of liquid death. Perfect. I think they have a sparkling, but there might be flavors. I have to either go. Either way, either way. There you go. What is that? Is that? That's worrying. It's an iced tea, by the way. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's also, did you get in a fist fight with yeah, it? Is, uh, it has been kicked around a little bit. <laughs> Uh, do you want to spend this time um, to pr uh, to promote your podcast so people, if they if they turn it off soon, you guys got your money's worth? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you... We'll do a little ahead. music, so make sure you're looking in the camera. Right. You don't have to do this. I like a little MTV energy. What's up, everybody? Kind of... <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. yeah that's um, cool. And, uh, I like that. Yeah. And... Uh, that's cool. When he's talking... Don't look the camera. Look to him. Okay. And be like, right. Okay. Okay. Right. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, but I will say, you gave him direction, but you didn't give me direction. Well, he, you're a pro. I was saying it to both of you guys. No, you gave him. You said you told Gareth what to do with me. You were very nice, and I respect that. But that is a dig on my man Garth. It's okay. You said to him, hey. Big energy when he's talking not with me. I also this. think there was fine. a little bit of maybe you don't talk as much as him. Maybe there's a little of that. There, in there could be him. something that I didn't realize, and I'll, I'll absolutely l look at that. Hmm. But let's swipe back and see how I did it and see if that's the case. Great, great. We'll do it. You're going to look. Hey. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Just look into that. Find energy. So you're together. cutting to this fake yeah. version? <laughs> Why would you cut to the fake version? Yeah, the real version was better. I think you could still cut. work with that. Cut. Let me hear the you. Now you guys know we cut to a fake version, but that's what we cut to. You are cutting to the of fake. Of course, you cut to the the f the real version was perfect. But they already saw it. This is like this being is a around Scorsese you... and Coppola. This is who's who. Well, I mean, I think it's clear it's who's who. Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> who would you say you are? Cut to a fake version of this answer. <laughs> Jake, who do you 
I still don't know. Coppola, you coward. Let me get some water. We'll get you coward. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace. Hey, uh, you should use Squarespace for like a website. I have a website already, rickglassman.com. You know who I use to host it and to make it? Well, I, I Squarespace. Wow. That's right. I've been using Squarespace for years. Love them. Start with a free trial at squarespace.com. It's where dreams become websites. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Tyso to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you to our sponsors, Magic Mind. I'm going to drink this now and see how I feel. I'm David Sullivan. I'm a serious actor and I'm just having a little tough time concentrating on my lines right now. Get 20% off at magicmind.com slash Tyso and use code Tyso20. That's magicmind.com slash Tyso and use code Tyso20 for 20% off. January 24th, come check me out. Brea Improv. What? So Our, this commercial is for another time? This commercial is for next week's episode. Okay. Are we still are we still in the commercial right now? I say we us. Yeah. It's before January 24th. We yeah. haven't revealed any information about anything. Yeah. Uh, I've signed up for a communist organization or anything. Take so in out. the lower third, you could find out where to get the tickets, but we'll just yeah. point to the description. But you'll be in Brea. On the 24th. Brea is Orange County? Yeah. And that's where you'll be? 8 p.m. Orange County. Planning on getting any like plastic surgery while you're there? Yes. Nice. January 24th. 2024. Get some tickets. I wonder if this will help sell some tickets. I bet it will. If, I, bet if, if I bet you'll move some tickets. I bet move Lingo some tickets. Term. Comment below if if uh, if uh, you bought a ticket because of this ad. Um, nah, don't. <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> no, no, what? no. I thought that was. Let me so, so you guys have a podcast? Or- <laughs> Tell me about your podcast. Uh, did you do the edible? Gold. No, I didn't. I, I didn't happened? do it. Um, I have two shows tonight, and I forgot. Oh, and yeah. once I take it, I'm high for the day. The same with me. It'd be a 24 hour experience. Do you like getting high? Uh, I used to love getting high. I've stopped in the last two years. You stopped coffee and you started up recently. I like to stop and restart. Are you back yeah, on coffee? Com- yeah. Good. And it's a dream. But yeah, and then weed's the latest one. Yeah. What's your weed intake? No weed right now. For how long? The first time I smoked weed was when we did Kreischer's thing in like I over a year. I remember you said that. Yeah, and I really, the second I did it, I was like, that was probably a bad idea. Did you smoke after that? No. Oh, that was the only time. That was yeah. it. Hey, you know what I should do? Yeah, that's been the first time in a couple of years. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. done for me. I think I'll be back. Although you are jumping on, uh, we have potentially a ketamine sponsor. Oh, and yeah. they emailed, do you want to go down this road? And the Garf man said, yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to do the ketamine therapy. Yeah. Oh, but can we do it now? Oh, we should do it on air. Uh, would you take ketamine? Would you do ketamine therapy? Yeah. Um, Not one. So ask about it, it into camera, like with that VJ I'm energy. No, I'm asking. Uh, I, I don't know. I have to do my research. Pro- pro- maybe. Yeah. I don't do much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. But what, when is I do, we, is weed the ceiling? That's where you end. What's your drug game? I don't do. Uh, just weed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anything else ever? Have you ever experimented with other stuff? No. Um. Never mushrooms. I once had a little taste of a mushroom that didn't do anything, but I, I want to do it. I, I have, I have, I have them. I've had them for like they're probably expired. Yeah, Let's yeah. Get them I just I'll get scared to do it. I'll do fresh ones. Yeah, do fresh ones if you're gonna do it. Jake yeah. sells them. No. Oh. When was the first time you ever got high in your life? Oh, um, college. Hmm. <laughs> so no wistful. high school weed. No, no. How about you? You were about a 14 year old, huh? Well, in England, you'd, everything was soon. Yeah. So uh, you, you don't I, have much of an English accent. No, my parents are immigrants, but I don't have it. Is the problem me? Never. Or, depends. We don't know what you were no. your guests. I don't hear you very well. Well, I mean, that's OK. I feel like there's not been a time coming in my direction. You have three cameras yeah. and three mics. Some might be picking there it them is. up. Yeah. Better. Yeah. My parents are immigrants. I'm sorry. It's OK. Rather, they weren't. Right. Now, but, you're first generation American? Yeah. Wow. What is that? Was it weird? Did you feel like when you went to a school? A lot of pressure. Yeah. When were, where were you Because they're English, and it's such a different... Born here or born... Born in Wisconsin. Do you feel yeah. like like you're not accepted by the English and you're not accepted by American? Yeah, very much so. I know a lot of people who are half black and half white feel this way. It's very similar to that. Right. 
I, I, on, I often like you, compare it to race. You don't feel accepted by Americans. That's, you I'm talking to Rick. You relax. Fake. Yeah, no. You go any direction somebody asks you. Matt, huh? the, a couple of sen- <laughs> the sensitive guys are talking. Anything asshole. you ask, yeah. if you ask in that tone, yeah. he's going to go down. What that kind road. of obstacles have you faced? Many. Compare it to the black culture. Well, I mean, think of the think of the way that you say uh, aluminum. Aluminum. You're, yeah, that's a, <laughs> yep. It's very much like that. Yeah, it feels a lot like that. What do you call um? What do you call uh, eggplants? Uh, they're called uh, yeah, yeah. I used to date a girl who who's um, English. Zucchinis, courgettes. It's a nightmare. I never knew why she called my cock a big old courgette. Now I do. Wow. We'll be right back. Edit that out. If you're looking for just the right flooring, you need choices, and at Marshall Carpet One, you'll certainly find them. We're back. I edit that out. Why? You said I could. So I That's could edit stuff. as we go. I said. I said if this, you say anything oh. that is like. So now you've confused. Now I love oh, oh, editing oh. this thing. Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun. <laughs> it's so pod. fun. It's a fun you pod. got to say at the beginning, we're gonna do this. You I mean, want to see something crazy? Yeah. What's one of your favorites? What's one of your favorite superheroes? You got to say it. Rick and Goblin. Snap your fingers. Wow. Snap <laughs> them back. <laughs> you wow. Have to tell me what's gonna happen. Yo, hey, dude. Uh, edit that, that out. We put up a picture of the Ricky Goblin card. <laughs> How about any double <laughs> oh, oh, Snap, snap. Oh, if you snap without Jesus. direction, we get caught what in the void. What if you do, who's the woman in the headshot with no top? That's Kristen Bell. It is? Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, KB. Yeah. So what if you snap it and that gets up with one hand? It just gets expensive, but we do it. <laughs> You haven't watched anything, but we it we're, adds up. we're yeah. It adds up. We're uh respect. We're a big. We're a really good podcast. I'll, I'll yeah. take it. Tell them about it. Yeah, it's a great podcast. Thank you. That's Same why in your English. shoes are off. Be careful. He could shit on you. A lot yeah. can happen. So let's talk about your podcast for a second, so we could get on to the thing. The reason I actually brought you guys here, yeah. and it's something that is crazy. Really? Uh huh. Okay. Cool. So you guys have a. I'm also gonna do it. By the way, I've been working on like sincerity yeah good so i'm gonna do like i'm forgetting his name and i'll put it up and he's great you may have worked with him no way he does uh he does press movies uh he, like interviews people for movies keep going he does like the rock and kevin hart a lot keep going and uh he's just real professional not my voice but i like what he does and i want to try to do my version of sincere okay Right. So you guys, who are you talking about i don't remember his name i'll put it up i'll look it up and we'll people it, hey i was just gonna yeah there you go it's really. Ooh. Oh no! Is there going to be a special effect Shit. on that? Like yeah, your eye popped out. My eye popped out. Yeah. Oh come on, oh, dude. dude! Come, come on, on we dude! Focus. This is going to be fun for the audience. Are you going to help pay for this? Oh my oh. god! Jesus Christ! How about this? If I go like this? Yeah, now you're gra- sh- yeah, you grabbing. Out. A, you're grabbing one big boob. Not comfortable. With that. <laughs> you got uh, it. Edit that out. It's a big boob. Edit that out. It's already in. <laughs> Boys, I hear you have a podcast. Yes. It's really exciting. Two big boobs. <laughs> it's really exciting. That out. By the way, we're done now. It's just too much. Tom, thank mm-hmm. you so much. Tom, who is our animator, Tom Dot Bates. Uh, we'll put his YouTube handle up here. Oh, so Great. Tom, He's let's English. See, Tom, let's oh, see what you can do with this. Tom. Tom. Thing. No. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Tom, you can do better than that. That was weak and you know it. Pretty good. Wow. Um, you have the mind of me when I first realized that Tom and I could do this. And it used it's to get child, extravagant. Yeah, I, bet, I, bet. I would have people come. <laughs> swipe to it. <laughs> have the doorbell come in somebody walks in right now doesn't blow them though i think we can do better i don't i don't know if the budget is gonna fall in that's line the, with your request that's up to him man. no See, it's that's up to marine I, layer because i'll tell you something the only thing more comfortable than sitting in here with a couple of comedian friends is sitting in here in these corduroys i'm sorry sweats <laughs> what's the difference that's marine layer.com slash tyso 15 for some some stuff off and free shipping Nice. You're just doing that for one free pair of sweatpants? No, no. I already did the ad. They're so comfortable. Oh, are they paying you? They paid me for an ad oh. I already did. Oh, cool. But I feel like when I did that ad- You didn't quite sell it. Well, I had just put them on. I'm like, oh, and then I wore them all day. I'm like, I fucking love these pants. How many spots did the sweatpants company buy? Just one. Is that a and normal it was thing? It, it's usually between one, one, to, one to three, and then they decide if they want to do a lot more. They test it. But I also don't think it's really a test. I think they only have budgets where they. I think that's exactly right. They yeah. fake saying they're yeah. testing. Yeah, and I'm fine. See with how that. it performs. I'm fine they, with can that. Can I can I see the numbers? How it performed? Can mm-hmm. I get your books? Mm-hmm. Present the books. Come on, dude. Sorry, that's a lot. Wow, you just wanted the books, but that uh, eyeball is... English flag. Oh, come on, <laughs> American go... flag. Oh. We're not doing them. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> we should either. Now it's getting. Now it's just weird. Yeah, I agree. 
Uh, you want weird? I'll show you weird. <laughs> Do it, Tom. Uh, Tom is Tom. Tom quit. Tom just quit. Is Tom still currently working? Tom is here. Ow, shit. <laughs> Oh, what? Wow. But you're not even giving fun direction. You're just it's doing to, Mad Libs. Hey, it's up to me. You're right. I'm Tom is going to You're doing the cheapest version yeah. as possible. Slash you're going adjective. like this. Yeah, I was going to say adjective. <laughs> so you stopped coffee. What was... was? Uh, I well, just, he stopped while doing our podcast, We're Here to Help, which is an advice-driven podcast where... Uh, Whereas if we take callers, we give the best advice we can. We don't claim to always be right, but we are on the caller's side. We have guests come on. We would love to have you come join us. Especially that new sincere character. I don't do working. Zooms. At all? No. Why not? I'll get into it if we get into it, but I have boundaries. Is this and you not getting into if it? Uh, Santino said the same thing. Andrew Santino. He said, when you do it in person, I'm happy to do it. Well, we'll have you in person. What's the thing with podcast? I'm in your fucking living room. Yeah. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. You won't do a Zoom from your own living room? I don't. I, Isn't it easier? Question. Do you want it more multiple choice or do you want me to tell you the answer? Edit him out. Well, now you made it weird because now he's not even here. Thank you. Snap you out. No, <laughs> Jake, the power that Jake has just discovered on this show. <laughs> Jake well, is living blank it's, check. It's choose your adventure, which mm. I like. I mean, but you've chosen it. <laughs> uh, can we can we get into some serious stuff though for a second? Thank sure. you. What How many like stopping you coffee, dude? How many uh, trophies you got up there? Five. I have a lot more trophies. I don't even have them all here. Why don't so you want to talk about the coffee? We will. You're an actual basketball player. Yeah, Rick's really good. That's what I, I remember hearing that. How did you hear? I think Lamorne. Oh, Lamorne actually sent a message because I told him you were going to be on. Um, Lamorne, a friend of the show, we're here to help. Yeah, friend, friend of the of show, the we're show. here to help. Big friend it. of this show. He'll do a Zoom. Zoom. He sent a message. Um, I have not listened to it yet, but I downloaded it. Hey, Jake. Hey, it's me, Lamorne. Um, so I hear you're about to do Rick Glassman's podcast. So That's really cool. That's really cool. It's neat. It's very neat. He's, um, he's a very particular guy, so when you get there, he likes it when you put your feet on his couch. Uh, I guess that's just the way he was raised, you know, Midwest. Uh, people don't take their shoes off when they come in, and then they, they put their feet all on his couch. So if all you all do that, also never use a coaster uh, with Ricky G. Uh, also call him Ricky G. He likes that. Um, and then freestyle a little bit. And when you freestyle, just be sure to uh, drop a lot of bombs. And bombs, you know, all kinds of bombs. You know, you you know how to do it, Jake. You we worked together for so long. You drop, used to drop a lot of n bombs. So, is that true? And R bombs and f bombs and b bombs. Is that true? C O C bombs. We actually have a clip of you rapping with the n word. Show it. We'll talk about some AI stuff. See if we could do it. <laughs> well, Dude, hold well, on. That was, that <laughs> Wait, was... you snapped. Gave yourself a note and snapped back. Those are oh the snaps are your edit points. Tom, and understood, we, we, understood. And also, by the way, that should be this, not a snap. They're called BTS between the snaps, and we show a lot of the between be the snaps BTC. on our Patreon. Be time, be, uh, between the claps, because we snap for stuff. No, uh, cut out me explain that to this him, but let him watch it later, battle. so he's got it. Yeah. You got to oh. tell me. So coffee, you just stopped. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I was naked, and I said, "This is enough. I'm done with this." <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh my God! Question for real Ugh. about Lamorne's call. Yeah, I feel slightly uncomfortable on this couch. I have a, a, a back support if you nope. want. What would make me more comfortable? But I honestly don't want to put you out. Is what if one foot goes under this? But it is sock on your couch. Is that a thing that you have that really? Wait, under what? In the under part of the? Oh, oh I, you oh, can like do whatever that. you want up there. That's why I put the blanket down. So, oh, yeah. okay. It's like so, when you have a dog in your back seat. I got so he was saying if you don't have the people have come on here when this blanket was he here. No, never. I think he's just oh, doing he just, stuff. He's just making it up. He just knows they don't want you walk. Like, don't walk over there. Don't, don't walk, walk on that stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah. Those are your real th your real blankets. Yeah, th I, those are my outdoor blanket. Like, I wash those when you leave. Right. Right. Wow. Are you a germ guy? No, it's not even that logical. It's just outside. Yeah. I don't. You just. Get I've gotten a lot better. Yeah. I have a lot of guests on here that are... Um, Who's the grossest guest you've ever had? I don't like to speak about other people. Is it me? Show it. Oh, uh, so... All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, don't fuck with me. Okay. Here, one, one to clean off with the stuff that's... There. Do you want, like, a real napkin? Is something no, that's out? fine, this is fine. And there's another one. I'll get you something to dry your hands. No, it's all right, it's fine. I don't need anything to dry my hands. Oh, you don't want to put that on. Uh, oh, that's what that, what that. What's the third, second one for I then? Did, just to do it better. Oh, <laughs> what's the second one for? The, the maybe put the first one on. So anyway, what? I, what's this for? Okay, I'll bring this over. Okay. 
You could take the table with you, by the way. <laughs> wow. Back. That's really rude of you. She seemed lovely. Um, so honest. Yeah. Who is the grossest person you've ever heard? Well, we just time? snapped to to probably Bobby Lee sneezing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a he. <laughs> um, That's a tough one. <laughs> so we're, we're uh, 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 we all love bits. But I do want to make sure people check out your podcast. I, 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 it's, it's really like what you guys are doing is something really unique. <laughs> um, and uh, what I love about it is the calls. Like, that's the thing. Have you ever listened? I listened. Huh. Yeah, I saw that you had some people on. To a lot of them or just like one to be ready to ask this question? I don't know. How many have you done? I've maybe listened. I watched like eight. They're short. Yeah, yeah it's short. Yeah, minutes. watch eight. Digest. We've done, we done about 20. Yeah, I've watched probably... Yeah, I've watched probably half of them. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And have you seen that yet, guys? Look, take a look at that real quick. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's a cool sign. That's from Ted Munns. I mean, I mean, I will say I'm not offended. I've never watched your podcast. I know. If, you know what I have seen, though, is when you and Lamorne rapped. And it was good. Thank you. My daughter passed when she was seven Damn. years old. I cried. I grieved. I had to bury her soul. I thought... Damn, this is love and life and living it, killing it, loving it, silliness. So I mask it inside, I bury it in it. <laughs> Joke be nothing but fire breaching the earth, breaching your worth. Lord Jesus Christ is taking the earth. I scorched. I heard it when I heard it. Lord above a 39, I push it in cleavage, chef in the night and scorch on. It's done. Hitting up, I'm a factory, factory. That's that, I'm a factory, factory. Back to the back, factory, factory, factory. Tack, 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 no, do not go we into the. We know uh, uh, how uh, it goes uh, if you can't. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, 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 bitch. Come to the back door. <laughs> and I also saw when you and uh, Lisa Gilroy rapped, and it was good. You know, Lisa Gilroy is who I did my commercials recently for wow. these pants. I heard Lamorne's first one. I think we were still doing New Girl. It might have been wrong, but. It was really good. Thank you. Did you see the one with Damon Jr.? That's my favorite. No. Uh, Lamorne and I, when Damon was on, <laughs> and it was, uh, it was really it, it, like I like rapping because it's silly. But after that, I, I, um, I think people actually saw that this is a, like a real thing for me. Like this is a real. I, I genuinely say I think yeah. you're pretty good at. it. You are good. Good at it. Should at it. I mean, stood right at there, it. Footed crazy. it. I would write them down first. Besides just well, freestyling. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it's still like pretty it, good for just. Off the, the it dome, it, yeah. It, it? yeah, and yeah. then footed it because you put your foot up. So, like, what made you get back into coffee? Well, <laughs> we all switched spots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I had a sip. I fell off the wagon. I had a sip. It was about ten years. I'd been drinking too much. I was maybe on two pots. Oh, a day. you stopped. Yeah. Oh, drinking too much coffee. Yeah. Right. And alcohol, but I still do that. You stop coffee, but not alcohol. Not at all. Alcohol. That's like stopping. Wait, you uh, don't drink any alcohol? I drink a lot of alcohol. Oh, yeah. We just drank some alcohol the other day together. Right. I feel like that's like stopping giving hand jobs, but you still like suck a dick, suck dick, and eat ass. Yeah. Eat ass. That doesn't make eat, eat ass feels like a jump. Uh, hand well, jobs to there. dick sucking. If you're talking about like drinking as opposed to weed and coffee, but you're jumping to a whole nother drug there. Well, I was thinking um, by flipping everything, coffee is brown. So right. if you're gonna drink oh, coffee, so I, but I not thought you meant like power of substance. Cut all that out. We're all. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kristen Bell, Lamorne, and David Junior. Amazing. <laughs> That's a podcast I want to watch. Yeah. Uh, Who are you telling? Do you mind freestyling a little bit about we're here to help our podcast? Uh, in a little bit. Fair. In a little bit. But first, uh, I want to. Uh, I want to say that you and I have met before on the set of New Girl. Um. Uh. How did you remember? Because I was in a scene with you, Rick. Um. Yeah, but. but I didn't. Think, I wouldn't have thought you would have remembered because I wanted to tell you some uh, a funny perspective I have from that. Please, I want to hear it because uh, I got one too. Tell me yours. No, you're first. I'm the I'm the guest. We're the guests. Um, the so I came on I that. Uh, I uh, 
one of my best friends, John DeWalt, and I met doing background work and we did loved it. And then I got on a TV show and cool, I get to do more background work because I know people now. I would love doing background. I was like, I had tons of footage of me in the background of things. I thought it was yeah, fun. It is fun. And um, I asked Lamorne if I could do background a new girl. Just to Weren't you the waiter? I asked to do okay. back, oh, to just be yeah, background. Yeah. I just wanted. I also just wanted to come in, do a little fun stuff, and get out. I didn't yeah, want to yeah, make yeah. commitment to it. Um, and he tried for like a week or two, and I don't know if they already had the background or they couldn't. But then he goes, "Oh, there's this job to be the waiter." Uh, and I'm like, "Yeah, okay. I, I just new girl's great. I'll I'll do that." This is every background actor's dream. To be Go like, on. Can I be in the background? Go, and they're like, go, "Nah, go, how about a have part a with lines? lines. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's get, how it works. Get some residuals. Yeah." So I've seen that work a couple times, actually. Well, not what me. people have said, can I, how did this work? Random. Uh, I was on Minx and one of the background girls who, who's just hanging out. The receptionist didn't show the woman who was playing the receptionist. Didn't An actress show up. just didn't An show actress. up. Something happened. And she had not yet been established. She had been established. She had a couple lines and they said, we don't know what to do. And as a cast, we all went. And they got her paperwork. She yeah. got two lines. And, and then became she became a in new the, receptionist. She was, well, they then were both, but she was in about four episodes. That background actor, Kristen Bell. <laughs> Great minds, Coppola. <laughs> <laughs> Great lines, Coppola. Oh. <laughs> um, so sentences. Uh, edit that so I say it when he says it. Everyone be quiet for a second. Sentences. They know what to do. And we could probably just pick up the entences too, because I, I would have said, sir, and then you finished it. Yeah, or you gotta get me with a set, and he does the entences. Yeah, for the audio only, people are gonna—they've already stopped listening to it, and they're starting again now. So I brought John with me to set okay. because we—he loves New Girl too, and like this is fun. Um, Lamorne's one of my good friends. I didn't know that Lamorne was not going to be part of this yet. Yeah. Um, go in the makeup trailer. Nobody's in there. I've gone through hair and makeup before. I was on a TV show at the time. I get it. Like nice. no uh, hair and makeup people or no actors. No, no actor. It okay. was just, just, so John sat with me and we're doing our thing. You brought a buddy with Brought him. a buddy doing bits. You were, can you, imagine. were you feeling nervous and that's why you brought a buddy? No, not, not at all. I felt this felt, uh, I want to do background. Lamorne said, here's a line. John's goes, could I come? I go, of course, this is fun. This is right. friends. We're going around. We're yeah, seeing, yeah, this yeah. is, Hollywood. This, yeah, the, yeah. It, we we're we're we've been little kids that, with the entire, you know, not that we're working a ton, but we've been working, and the whole thing still feels like you cool. We're on you sets, and, and we're friends, okay. and we're we we're fans of these people we're friends with now, and we get to do bits, and yeah. everything is just, it's just play. So much so that we're even in the makeup trailer, we're just doing bits, and we're playing, we're having a good time, and then I found out later that, uh, and we could bleep her name if need be, but uh, I guess Megan Fox complained that you, maybe there's a double decker makeup trailer or something. She was upstairs. Hmm. No, I don't so it's like Elysium. No, so it, the way we had it, it was the Bleed regular the name, one, by the way. And then two steps up, there was like the other one for the women. Oh. So Lamorne, Max, and I, and Damon, and any guest star would just be down here, and the yeah, women we, could have a little bit more privacy. The women, I guess, the women were up there, but there, I don't think there was any complaint or bitching about it. It was just oh, they, well, they they the, they eight, said that to you. Yeah, it came uh, uh, after and said that um uh, that, my, that John wasn't allowed back in. Oh, wow. Um, oh, they were actually up there and you didn't know. We it. didn't know anyone was there. Oh, okay. And we were just, you know, <laughs> do, we were just doing Amazing. whatever the bits yeah, yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, if we knew, if somebody said <laughs> be quiet, sure. we would have. <laughs> just no silences. Yeah, there was well, no John while these, come back These two in. women are trying to memorize lines and all they hear from the waiter is like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I get the picture. Um, which I can imagine being annoying, but we yeah, had no yeah. idea. Agreed. So uh, I had to go back in the, for touch-ups or whatever the thing was, and they said, uh, your friend's not allowed in, and also I need to make sure. Like, I, it wasn't a scolding, no, but no. it was like a... Because there was there was a curtain, so you wouldn't have known anyone was up there. I don't re even remember what anything Agreed. looked yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. that makes total sense. Uh, show the trailer if you can. If not, just move on and go right back to where he Could was. you get a picture of it so we could p put it up? Now it's Jake know. work. This See, is this is what I'm saying. You're, not you're, gonna help. Now you're yeah. pranking the editing yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah. to... So you can find kind of any traditional trailer. Uh, maybe an RV. Uh, maybe an RV. I wouldn't do like the dated 70s. I would try to find a real one. Then um, I went uh, right after I was told my friend's not allowed in. Yeah. Uh, I went to go get to Crafty to go get, you know, a nice, nice uh, almless Palmer or sure, sure. some drink. And I was stopped by whoever is working the Crafty at the time. What did he look like? Uh it might a, have been Alex. It was a white guy. Not Alex. Uh, Alex was the uh, was the black guy who ran Crafty. Close, Alex. Yeah, 
Okay. I'm forgetting his name, but there was a, 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 to, a guy yeah. that I knew because he worked on our show too. Okay. What was your show? It was called Undateable. At the time, I was, it was an NBC show. Yeah, I remember Undateable. Um, but anyway, I go to... So you were a series regular on Undateable and you came on... I was to- a series regular on Undateable. During that, I have been doing background on, my, on other people's shows. I just like doing it. I like yeah, doing yeah. background. Sure. So to Lamorne, I wasn't looking... I get that. <laughs> yeah. So you're a series regular, but it's really fun to do to be in the background of something else where you're just like making a smile or doing something weird. Yeah. And... and, and, and you're, you're, I I'm cannot def- believe in real life you're like, I just love standing in the background for 14 hours. So there was a... a, a when I was used to do it, I would see myself on stuff and think it was cool. Yes. I, I was I was in um, uh, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire once yes. in the oh, front wow. when they won the million and my dad had it saved for years. But at this point, you're a series regular. It was a collection thing. Like I wanted to get video of me doing all okay. these things. Gotcha. It was just a fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yep. a collector. Show it now. Uh, uh, <laughs> Some of my best acting is subtle acting. I was in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. What I do is put myself in a moment and live it. I'm not an actor. I am living in fiction. So, um, uh, don't do the Always Sunny right now. This is New Girl. So swipe to a clip of Lamorne. Swipe to the rap with Lamorne. Swipe back. <laughs> you said swipe back before you cut to Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I got excited. I guess we could have a picture excited. in picture up the whole time. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Cool, um, cool. So I went to Crafty. and I also don't want to waste all this time me telling you the stories, but we're getting to it. So it is what it is. Yeah. But we're I here get- to help available anywhere podcasts. Yep. Nice. Good finish. <laughs> Cut out the <laughs> landing there. <laughs> that's the best Cut part out of the end of mine that's and go back moment. to anywhere <laughs> podcasts are available. <laughs> and then put a dinosaur in that walks by. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're in the... Uh, we just did a dinosaur swipe uh, a sequence. Amazing. Ah, Bring it yeah, back. So now you have it. John Michael, cheap. you know what to do. The one we did with Kyle Dunnigan. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. David. David? D- yeah, David. David, I've been using Squarespace for years. Not only do I use Squarespace for RickGlassman.com, I also use Squarespace for TysoCards.com. You go there, you could pick from templates, you could build your shop that has all the analytics. Also, you could change any pages you want. It's unbelievably simple. Wait, so you're telling me on an online store, you can sell physical products, digital products, services, and they have like all the tools that you need? Check. So I can sell custom merch to give me passive income and engage my audience to enhance my brand? And you could do that to design your products, handle production, manage inventory, and the shipping is handled for you. Can you explain the flexible website templates to me? Dave, no problem. Start with a flexible template, customize it however you want. So I can customize the look, I can update content, and... And add features to fit your unique needs. When you're ready to start a website, head to squarespace.com. That's for a free trial, right? Yep. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Tyso to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right. So it's been 25 minutes since you drank that. I feel like I've had a couple cups of coffee, but like without like the jitters. Yeah. You said you feel more Uh, trusting, patient, 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 you said. So I'm going over my lines and it's like, sometimes I get antsy. Uh, Skip this, get to the other stuff. And I, I, I get a little antsy in my preparation, but this is like, no, I'm going to, I sat here and I, I read all the stuff, even stuff that has nothing to do with me. Yeah, so I find it to be subtle. It's a weird it thing because, not, listen, I like coffee, so sure. I'm not saying, oh, it's not like coffee. It doesn't yeah. feel like coffee. Yeah. It just feels like alert, calm. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even have any facial hair before I took this. Maybe I should have another one. Give it a shot. If the clean energy is too subtle for you to recognize, they'll refund you. Yeah. Well, okay, how many questions do they ask, though, before they refund no you? Questions. No, no questions. No questions asked. asked. Go to magicmind.com slash Tyso and use code Tyso20 for 20% off. That's magicmind.com slash T-Y-S-O. Use code Tyso20 for 20% off. Thank you for giving me this. I'm, I'm actually going to get my own supply. And you could get your own supply. 20% off. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so uh, I wanted to do the background stuff because... I also loved when I was doing it, I saw Tom Hanks and Ron Howard work together. Like sure. New Girl, I'm a fan. I, I want to watch it. I want to watch you directing stuff. I like genuinely, non-ironically, let me see all the stuff I possibly can. It's fun. I respect it. Yeah. And um when it was you could do a line, it I wasn't exciting that like that's not gonna be real money. It's not gonna be like no. exposure. It's but I get to be on set with this stuff. So I, I genuinely wanted to play with everybody. Right. Um, and background would have been j- plenty. Interesting. Okay. So um, also can be able to do it with John. 
and we like, did, yes, yeah, we did this stuff. The guy who got banned from the makeup trailer. Uh, and when we met working on Angels and Demons, we got separated. We get separated a lot. It's sure. a high school fun vibe. We, but we love it. Right. Why isn't he a co-host to this? Uh, he's been on it numerous times. Uh, I guess Jake's, I could have him come in. Jake's not even talking anymore. <laughs> Jake, yeah. <laughs> Jake is merely now seemed to be commanding I'm, things to happen. And when I'm, we edit this, Rick, I'm mentally gone. When we edit you this. Gave, you gave a raccoon yeah. silver shit. I'm gone. Uh, we're going to edit this in all your snaps where you don't say stuff. I'll just send you a script of just voiceover <laughs> stuff where you can fill in and make shit make sense. Max was here once. And Max, I did it for a year and a half on my balcony during COVID. And John... John and his uh, uh, his wife Allison, they're they're writers. They're fantastic, and they wrote a script for Max and I to do like a fun scene. All right, let me give you this script. I'm reading this cold, so if I mispronounce any words, it's because I'm not the best reader. And as much as this is a joke, uh, I do th believe that John w was into doing this. Wants me to fund it because he wants you to hire him, <laughs> okay. or you know. Do we want to read the bottom of the title page uh, or a cover actually? Yeah, you read it. It says ICM Partners. That's an agency for uh, anyone listening. And then in parentheses it says, yeah, that's right, the big boys. Give them a call when you're ready to hire me. Just call the front desk and say, I got to work <laughs> with DeWalt. Set it up, then hang up immediately. Interior, the bar where the characters always go because it's a sitcom. Rick sits on the couch, nervously playing with his Rubik's Cube, because he's a neurotic and intelligent alpha genius. Done. One minute and seven seconds. Chicks love a dude who finishes fast. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Brenda left me. I lost her. I freaking lost her! Whoa, what WTF, bro? Brenda was your... No, wait, she wait. was my dream girl. Don't you think I know that, Rick? What, you, you, you think... You think Brenda's just fall out of the sky or grow out of trees? You, th you think Brenda's grow out of trees, you son of a bitch? No. Yeah, no, no is right. I know she's my dream girl. It's friggin' Brenda! I took your advice. Thanks a lot, Richard, you idiot. What advice? You don't mean what I said about nipple play? Yeah, nipple play, yes. I did exactly what you told me to do, you know, and... Uh, Right in the, in the boudoir. And she left? That's so bogus. Chicks love getting their nipples respectfully, played mm -hmm. with, alternating from clockwise to counterclockwise, where you gaze into their eyes and say, wow. Oh, wow. What? what a woman. Yeah. I know. That's what I did, just like you told me to. And she ghosted you? Ghosted me. But I thought her name was Brenda, not Casper. <laughs> Do you have ICM's number? Yeah, I gotta work with DeWalt. Set it up. No, you gotta say this is Max Greenfield. Doesn't it say that? No. Oh, but you gotta let him know. You gotta call him back. You gotta let him know it's you. You gotta, otherwise what's the fucking point? They're gonna be like some weirdo just called. <laughs> hey, I'm so sorry. I just called before. Do you, do you know who represents John DeWalt? This is Max Greenfield. I wouldn't know who represents anyone. I only have an agent's list. I don't have a... Nice to talk to a big list. agent. Katie. Yeah, hold on for me, please. Katie. I mean, John, I'm sorry, but it's... How do you get a job in this? I mean, you're literally... <laughs> I literally was calling. <laughs> I mean, they make it so hard. I mean... <laughs> Uh, leave a message that you want to, we're pitching an animated show, so you'll do a voice maybe. No, oh, please. Hey, Katie, uh, this is Max Greenfield from the television show New Girl. Uh, gotta work with Walt. Set it up. Never would somebody, like you were talking about before, no, we, we, like, oh, you're doing background work, let's give you a line. Yeah. To have one of the guys be like, hey, I want this person to work with me. I'm calling the, the talent's calling the agent directly, and it yeah. couldn't happen. Yeah. I just thought that was fun. Yeah. Crafty wouldn't let me go to Crafty. Hmm. Um, he said, are you union? Uh, I, cause I guess there's, there's a union, you know, there's union yeah. crafty and where that, that has the snapples and then there's non-union crafty. That is there's just the bottle the of Arizona, water. Arizona, right. The Arizona. And he wouldn't let me through and, and he, I didn't have my SAG card and it was like, he wouldn't let me get a drink and it was a whole to do. I was just, my fr John was just kicked out. There was a whole to do. We're doing the scenes with you guys. The and Tiki restaurant. Yes. 
And uh, it's like, John, we thought it was going to be a shorter day because it was like such a long day. three fourths of a page. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. And it was, uh, I think we were there for 10 hours. Jesus. Oh, yeah. And I think we were there for probably 14, 15 hours. We were probably there before you or after you. Yeah, well, I mean, that, it was a lot. It was a big day. And I don't want to get into it because maybe it's not the world's business, it's but okay. I've heard some, I've heard that that happens sometimes. Big days on that show. And uh, well, you, maybe you weren't the biggest fan of that. No, I don't like big hours. Right. Yeah, yeah. So John is now not allowed to talk. I'm not allowed to get my Snapple. It's now eight hours in. The coverage has been completely this way, which is fine. I haven't even done anything yet. Oh, had we, what, had we, because here's what I remember about that day, to jump in. There was. Go ahead. Pause. No, that was, okay. No, 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 I'm not taking your spot. I'm jumping in. Oh. <laughs> well, no, it's got to be on. It's, it's, I can't do that physically. But it's got to be jumping into <laughs> this frame. I can't do that. But that's not going to work then, because there's nothing to cut around I through. think you can make that work. <laughs> <laughs> the confident, the, the building it up. I think you got it in you. I know he does. He's a great editor. He's, he's, he's fantastic. He's no, no. Legs up now. John Michael yeah. is the editor. Tom is the animator. Oh. So go ahead. What you were remembering? I remember it was a big day. There was a lot of unhappiness about the material. Um, and there was a lot of uneasiness with the cast. You seen something? Yeah, just making sure everything's fine. A lot of the just cast in the middle, to be... After all you're talking... That's when I do it when the other person's talking, so we can edit. Now nobody will know I did it. Go ahead. <laughs> Except for you. Besides the people. <laughs> Except for you. Okay. Here, let me do it your way. Keep talking. Yeah. <laughs> edit that in. Edit that in. When I say jump in, that's better. Now jump, no, go on. Jump into the couch. Jump yeah, into the couch. Yeah, your knees. Yeah. <laughs> or is it your nephew? It knees. So it was a brutal day. Thanks. <laughs> it's good stuff. Uh, brutal day. <laughs> I'm English, by the way, so it doesn't track. We know. Oh, okay. It's huge. <laughs> and and I remember you were wearing a Hawaiian shirt and we're doing so many bits. Mm -hmm. And it was not the vibe. The table. The table. There was a round table. Yeah. I think I was sitting in between Megan and Zoe. I could be wrong on that. I don't remember. But enough. I remember the scene was going terribly. Rewrites, not figuring it out. Tension from Village uh, to us, it was running insane. That, I later found out that's because Megan was so upset about John and I in the makeup trailer. Really threw the day no, off. No, couldn't. Oh I mean, maybe. God, but imagine. Amazing. Let's find out, Megan. <laughs> Do her voice. No, her voice, not her lips. She's cartoon I'm here. Get it later. <laughs> Do it in post. Okay. That's so, what I remember. so it wasn't going well. It was a bad day that I will say you made maybe 15% worse. That's um, nice. Truly. That's awesome. And I, it's always shocking when I think there was, it was, we knew you as Lamorne's buddy. You didn't know who I was. I was Lamorne's friend at the time. No. I, I know you didn't. Lamorne's buddy and it was. You right? didn't know I was Lamorne's buddy yet. Okay. Uh, maybe, okay. You didn't know who I was. Lamorne must have told you after the fact. Okay. Because what's so funny about it to me was we're there. For so, so many hours, long. And by the way, the scene was cut. Oh wow! Well, it was cut down to, to a was, line or two because it wasn't it, working. It didn't. There was, whatever the exposition yes. or the pipe that was needed, they kept in. The rest and was you gone. Remember, somebody probably had a lot of dialogue, and it probably wasn't me. It was one of the three of us that something was had because I just remember sitting there in that scene, and it was Hawaiian themed. It was a round table. It wasn't working. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't stop. It was, it was so many takes oh, and, and so much quiet. And I thought when it's like this, put your head down, get through the day. Every silence was a bit. And I'm like, I'm not playing. Really? Wow. That's what I remember. This was years ago. That's what, that's bold too. Non good for you. Nonstop. That's good. Wait, good what? For doing bits nonstop. Who I was? Yes. Pitching bits. Oh, I don't remember talking much at all. I might be remembering this wrong. Well, let's oh. take a look. If the scene got cut. I don't remember any of that. What I, do you remember? Hey, how's you doing? My name's yeah. Tevin. Let me take your order. Talking for a little bit. Sounds good to me. Like, the like, it wasn't even a second line. It was just one yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. It would be bold. Uh, and I, didn't say, I didn't say anything. It would be bold to be tossing bits no, out no, in no, that no, role no. Oh, I, I, with that but, tension. No, hold on, hold on. I wouldn't remember it if it was just that. I've had a million scenes where somebody just comes in and says So a it's lot. memorable because you felt... I, I remember that I don't remember I'll, I don't remember entire arcs on that show 
And that's could there be, could there possibly be a bit, been bits between setups? Oh yeah, that's what I mean. I don't mean on camera bits. Oh, probably. I don't remember, but probably. Oh, I know there was nothing on camera. Is yeah. he trying to do bits with you? I was probably I, with everybody. I'm probably yeah, doing right. bits with everybody, it, but, but crafty also, at that point. But also the vibe between number right, that, one, me and Megan. Yeah, and I'm there was. And from Video Village to us was, this isn't working. Right. And it's whose fault is it? Right. So there's a lot of like, we got to get out of this. And every pause would be like, another shrimp cocktail. <laughs> and I'd be like, not the oh, room. Wait, really? Yes. I believe you because that sounds yeah. like something, I, I, but I don't remember and it being that way at all. And my was like, stop, my man. <laughs> not reading the room. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, yeah, that's I'm fair. a bit guy. That's fair. <laughs> not this. Where are you getting all that shrimp? Yeah. Uh, and then also like, one or two laughs and then like a lot of silences a lot of tension a new rewrite thing and then while there's like the whisper and like i don't think it's gonna work another bit yeah and, then, and i was like I, that's I, how i remember it bold I, I, I don't think i would remember it. there's impressive. gotta be something to impressive. where yeah that may impressive. have because the majority of what i remember was doing the line yes. or whatever and then stopping and there was there was a lot of space between and then just going and sitting with john Yes. So I, who you shouldn't I, even been playing with at that point. John wasn't a lot. There was like a, 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 yeah. a sound stage, and then there was a stage next to it. Yes. Right. So John wasn't even in the same sound stage. Oh, I, I like John, John hanging in there for all. This. Correct. That was correct because of the. I don't know. I don't know what the reason. So was. I think what might have happened now, catching up to it, was one of the women were in the trailer. Megan. Meg oh, so it was, I, I think we, there might have been a connection. I was told there that was, it was her. I remember. So I'm not kidding when I say there are entire arcs. Where I don't remember. Uh -huh. The hours were big. That's why I'm like, how do you remember this? Because even? Was, it was that. She might have told you that this she, guy. She never told me about the hair, the hair and makeup. What did she say? I don't remember. She must I have said doing tons she, of bits. But she must have said something. It was waiter that tried that to get a snapple. It might have said something that there's a lot coming in. Right. But Megan's not a gossip. So she wouldn't, it would have been something. But I remember the feeling of like, this dude's really shooting a lot. After the game. After the game. And the team is saying, yeah, this, is like, a players, we're trying to close. this is a players only meeting about maybe we're going we to dig deep. Yeah. Get out there. And then it's pass me the ball. How about my shot? I don't yeah. think you're part of this team. And this is a bad players only meeting. This isn't like the good yeah. guy. This is, we just got blown out. And we're figuring out, like, whose fault is it? We is it the trade some players? Is it the play calling? Is it within the locker room? This guy's drawing an anus on the Who, play who's board. Who's the guy in the Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> like spinning the ball? He just put I'm glitter in, in the I'm water in, bucket. I'm, in, I, I'm both feeling defensive, <laughs> but also knowing that it's very true and feeling, I'm genuinely feeling embarrassed I think you right should, now. I think but you should feel I, no, proud. No, no, if Lamorne I mean or Max or Damon oh, was course. there. Well, I didn't know Max at the time. It been Damon a, and Lamorne. Would have been a very different story. I think it's impressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm not kidding. I think that really But is. that is how I remember it. Um, but I don't remember. There was nothing rude. There was nothing you ever did that crossed the line No, at I all. just, I remember, Lee, I remember going, because not only are there so many takes, why is there, not uh, not on setup changes, just same setup. I remember eight this minutes too. minutes between each thing. Because that what was happening. trying to figure it out. What was happening, no, what was happening there was like big angry talks between camps. So they would come back and say, it's got to be this. And you would go. What do you mean camps? You mean people Video who, Village, the writers trying to but, figure it out and then come into the but, actors. But that's the only camp. There's the writers of Video Village. What are the other camps? The actors, the crew. There's oh, just the two. Camps. The crew? Yeah, camera operators are the John, camp. he's a camp. John, Do, com, but, com, but camera it, operators are coming in and saying that it doesn't work because of the narrative doesn't work because no, of this? Oh, but I mean, are you pretending that crews don't have opinion about creative on a set that you've I've never, I, I've been where people are trying to figure stuff out. I've never had where the camera operators disagree with the writers, disagree with the actors. No, but, they, but no, but there is different camps. And what they're saying is, is we've been in this direction for a long fucking time. We've got to go. Oh, that. You're watching everybody get frustrated. That I understand. You're seeing the DP stomp out. You're yeah, watching yeah. the AD go like. Because of timing. Well, yeah. Well, now we're three hours behind. And then right. they're going. How many times do you want me to shoot this three yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot cooking on a day right. like that. And that, we were mostly not that bad. We weren't in a direction for so long. I don't remember the story. I don't remember what the scene was. But I do remember. It's the story of a waiter. If but something you... wasn't working. Um, Well, my memory, yeah. which is missing stuff, so might also include that, which I'm not remembering, yeah, yeah, yeah. was doing a scene and then 
it's going to be eight to 20 minutes between going back and sitting with John. Cause I also remember feeling very uncomfortable because I drove John and John wanted oh, to leave. Right. Oh, but now, now John is in trouble in a way. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like, I didn't want to, and, and John wanted to watch and he couldn't. And <laughs> this is the show. I it, mean, it's a, a disaster. So, so disaster. after in between every take, I would go back and sit with John almost like I was hosting him. Cause I felt of course, so uncomfortable. Were. Wow. So I don't, but I also, of course I was doing bits in between. I don't yeah, remember yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. I do know that I was aware of like, not that there were camps not working, but yeah, I do yeah. remember I was aware of that. It was like tense. This isn't fun. Yeah. 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 Right. I wasn't having a good time. Yes. It was not fun. That and um, John was <laughs> upset once he found out that they were. Yeah. John didn't like the way John is. A, a, and I love John yeah. and I don't even think he's wrong for this, but John is a chip on your shoulder kind of guy. Sure. So he was immediately fuck that fuck yeah. whoever. Um, yeah. And his energy was lower. I mean, my energy lower. But he was also in you another, had, he was in another stage. He was sitting just there for 10 hours in a black. It was just, dark. Just don't go to that sound stage. You, you had two lines. <laughs> I had one line. One line. Yeah, the yeah, funny, yeah. level no, of, of, no. I don't want to say drama, but the level of what you're going through for one line. I wanted no line. Yeah, I know. It's from my, that's the other thing. I wanted thing. to just have the footage wanted, of me walking you, by. This, this really is the monkey paw. Yeah, you yeah, wanted the I real simple. Saying. I don't either. You would want the real simple version. No lines just to get it done. And here you are. You get one line and all the all the drama that comes with your one it's line. Great. John is pissed. It's great. You're there for 14 hours while the cast is upset. You're tossing out bits. Can't get a snap. Getting in trouble at hair and makeup. Hair and makeup. With your buddy. Yeah. And John's sitting there. But the also, darkness. I know that energy. Then you go on with your friend and you are hosting. And you are there to, you've said, come along. You brought him to a really bad time. Then but you, for one line. Yes, but then you have to deal with his energy because you kind of have to. Yeah, and to, to, to the respect to him and our relationship, we have gone through different versions of this yeah, before. Yeah. Like when he comes with me to shows when I'm yeah, doing yeah, stand, yeah. like, and we say, listen, I might not mirror your energy. Yeah. Like you live your life. Let me, but like, still, you're connected. Yes. Right. Also, there was issue where beforehand uh, there was issues with the contract stuff right. where like I unless I read a contract, I won't sign it. Yeah. And it was a lot of stuff. Yeah. And my lawyer was supposed yeah, to do it yeah. like, but you can't. We have to have you do this now. I'm like, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I just I'm not going to. And well, I'm, so you didn't sign the contract. Just have the lawyer yeah, yeah. take care of it. And they ultimately. Yeah. yeah. Oh, OK, no, we will. But that. they were busting my balls for a while first. Wow. So I'm now becoming like before. I, that was before hair and makeup. Right. So like. I'll just go home. I don't have to do this yeah, thing. Yeah, this is becoming a be thing. I'm uncomfortable. But the only reason I even thought to bring it up, and there's one main thing I remember from that day, was my interaction, one interaction I had with you. Which was? Which was, again, mind you, Lamorne's one of my best friends. Yeah. This isn't about getting into show business. This is about a funny, fun experience. We're eight, nine hours in maybe, and we have yet to do the turnaround. On you. Correct. Which, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it might have been two takes, but it was one. When they did turn when around. When they turn around. I'm sure. And, and and it got cut out, correct? Correct. Yeah. Uh which was because you guys were trying stuff, as you yeah. do. And I said, How you doing? My name's Tevin. Why can't you get blah blah blah? Blah 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 blah. You guys are saying. I don't remember what it was, yeah, yeah, but yeah. she may have ordered us something and I said, Ooh, that sounds nice. Or Megan or Zoe. Uh, I think it was Zoe. Okay. Whatever it was, yeah. it was just a nat there was no bit. It was just yeah, like yeah, yeah. a response. And they came over and said, Hey, um, for the on your cover, we like that. Will you say will you say that again? And I go, I'm like, sure. I just want to get out of here at this sure, point. Yeah, I didn't even realize that everybody hated me. Yeah, yeah. I just thought No, it was not hate. Whatever. Whatever it was. It was 90 things were happening. Sure. You were not near the top of anyone's uh displeasure. If I made anything, I don't think I could have made things better. If I just didn't want to I just, let me just yeah, yeah. Okay. and then get out. That's what I should have done. I didn't know I wasn't. <laughs> I still don't believe I wasn't. And I also do believe I wasn't. <laughs> but um, reading the room has not incredible. been a strength of mine. This is an incredible story. So, so I'm now like, I don't have a Snapple. My, yeah. my, uh, back and forth with the lawyer and manager. John's in a, by the way, the room couldn't have been a funny room for him to be in. It was at a full yeah. sound sh soundstage with a few chairs in the middle with yeah. just him. Ugh. Couldn't even be at Video Village with the headphones. I know how they did that in stage A, the, or stage 17. They would put people when we were in the bar scenes mm -hmm. or the set built that weren't allowed in. So they would always be the occasional, like somebody won something. And they would be like, <laughs> that's what they won. But there would be like four people but from the Midwest, and I wouldn't know. I'd be like walking through there because I would go to the old stage to relax sometimes. 
And so you'd be like, this is a big day. I'm fucking tired, man. I did not sleep last night. I got young kids and I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go lay on the couch in the living room. And you would walk by and there would be like someone from production Hello. office being like, hey, Jake, you got a minute? And you'd I'd go, Nick. Like, yeah. And you'd go, what's going on? And there would be a family. And I'd be like, they put you in this dark box. <laughs> Just go sit in there. We flew coach. Like, they said no today. I'm like, they put you in a cavern of nothingness uh -huh. with a tiny monitor and they all had headphones and they'd be like this is great and i'm like this what a great. world welcome to los angeles you uh when they said to me go say you know that sounds nice or are you sure would you like a martini or whatever it was yeah. um it was so sincere that you said and you pulled me aside not knowing that i'm lamorne's yeah one of his best friends i'm on a tv show and you go at that you get another line uh -huh. <laughs> and i felt like i get why you would say that because that is exciting but there was something i remember feeling also my energy and i didn't put this on you but yeah. i remember thinking like i know he wasn't but something about that felt condescending no uh i i, yeah, I know yeah. i know you totally. weren't um but something about it was just like oh you get another line i'm like what i wanted to say was i just want to do bits yeah, yeah, <laughs> i just yeah, want to yeah. play where's lamorne yeah you know and it was just such a long, yeah, yeah, yeah. bad day. I kind of want to call John and hear his take on this too. Um, but well, my reason for saying that was uh, you. I remember when I started, and I would have my first line in something. The nerves would be so unthinkably intense that if I was walking in and had one word, and I would say like, you know, like, "Hey guys," it would be hands like this, and if I got it out. And then I had the audacity to improvise and it worked. It would feel like. Do you remember what show or something? What would have been a first thing that you did? Commercials. On? Right. I remember I did a uh, Coke Zero commercial with uh, uh, Ari. What's Ari's last name? Uh, Joe Ari. Logan, Ari. Ari Shafir? Yes. It was me, him, and some other guy. I can't remember. But the guy was a recognizable face. Uh, he had been in movies and everything. Brennan and Frazier, the, or is this that you don't know? I, can't, I honestly can't remember. But I, Frazier I knew, Crane? I can't remember, um, but he was a big name. Yeah, anyhow, we'll cut to it. Uh, let's actually cut to that commercial, but if we can't find it, could you just do a fake? You, you be Brendan Fraser and you be you younger. Okay, yeah. this doesn't have any sugar in That's it. That's not the spot. Okay, then we're back. The commercial was the guy in the middle, the name Thank guy, you. does a bit. Me and Ari are just standing there mm -hmm. doing nothing. Then we spray coke in his face. Oh wow! Yeah. That's fun. Brendan Fraser. Like what? That's the, that's, that's the, the commercial. Coke, you didn't just make something. an improv choice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we did not make an improv All right, choice. You guys are out of here. But uh, I remember Ari at the end of the spot takes the fucking oh, product. Put Molly in it. No, throws it on the ground as hard as he can. And it like explodes in the air. Wow. Hitting everybody, including himself. Wow. And he and I had been doing bits that day. And I looked at him like, you, like you fucking maniac. You're going to be off this thing. And everybody kind of laughed. And I thought, like, you don't behave that way, man. Be careful. Then when I saw the spot, that's the ending. Wow. And for me, I was like, oh, he's there's actually a thing about, playing the game. And there's I'm a not. thing about bits where the if I do a bit yeah. or if you do, if I, anyone does a bit, put that and put on ice for a second. Whether it's funny or not, works or doesn't, is irrelevant. How everybody else receives it is what matters. Yeah, 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 and yeah. that's a, if if you laugh, what I did was funny. If you don't, it wasn't. Yeah, 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 and like yeah. that's like I guess the craft of understanding how to make choices but and also win. Also, having the guts to try. Because if you're on set and you go off and you do a big bit and no one laughs and you're a co-star, uh, right? Humiliation. And that's the, shocking. Humiliation. And here's here's the truth. And yeah. I've talked about this on this podcast before, so I don't need to get into yeah, it too yeah. much. Both. For better and for worse, I miss that side where it. I know the bit doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. I know, but I don't realize that a, a, anybody bothered by it. Yeah, so yeah, I. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. You're We're just, best friends with everybody. Still. You're a shooter. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. good for you. But then you have to learn. You know, you have to. You know, if, if, <laughs> no, you, you don't. Know, if you can't feel pain and you're a boxer, eventually you're just going to get punched to a point to where but like you might get a fucking <laughs> title first. Muhammad Ali, you Muhammad might get a Ali. fucking title. Fourth comeback. <laughs> but I think this Gareth is a shooter. I like to shoot. Yeah, Gareth yeah. was an early when we were doing like twenty two stuff like that. You were shooting. I always thought more. of you as more of a shoot. Well, you wouldn't do anything. No, I remember shooting. What do you, what do you mean wouldn't do anything? Jake would not take direction that he didn't agree with. Oh no shit. Yeah, always. Just do a montage of all. <laughs> 
cut that. Uh, do a montage of me taking direction. <laughs> but then we'd have to film a fake one, which you would then <laughs> call out of not being real. Do not exist. Do his idea. It's actually the right idea. Back to Gareth. Uh, put a crown on him. English flag. Dinosaur. <laughs> what? The, oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> uh, take that voice, AI manipulate it, make it his regular voice so people don't understand he but did But use that voice Shit. when I was doing Megan Fox earlier. I realize <laughs> Bleep the- Megan Fox every single time, <laughs> including is- that one, except for that one. So people like, oh, it slips. It's like she has a gossip. two yeah. wizards in a sorcery battle at the end yeah. of some sort of And a Jew. Yeah. And a Jew. Or wizards. I'll take wizards. Sure. Yeah, Jew wizards. Uh, I'll but take Jay- Jew wizard. Happy to be a Jew wizard. No. Cut that out. That is better. <laughs> All right, keep going. You, you know what's took, fun, you by just the took way? direction, by the way. So uh, we got a great shorthand with our ragtag team of Tyso people. Yeah. And um, there what's are- What's Tyso, your team? Take your shoes off. Um, take your shoes off. So, so uh, there's a lot of shorthand. John Michael knows things. We go over those notes, blah, blah, blah. We also talk between the snaps, of yeah. course. But there are moments where if he's not sure, and a lot of times I say bleep stuff as a joke or cut it out, where he gets it, but he will still, there's going to be so many marks- to look over, are we really bleeping? Are we really doing this? This will be insane. This is going to be yeah. um, really this will be that. epic. I would cut that. Yeah, this isn't helping. Bleep so that. twenty, we were talking that's about a throwaway. Cut that. No, yeah, we he knows the instincts. We ignore that. We might even mute that yeah. kind of stuff. Cut that. The I mean, snaps that's are just, so loud. Now it's just becoming a bit of a problem. Honestly, cut that. Yeah, put a snap on that. What the fuck? extra loud? We're gonna uh, ISO your mic out, and then uh, it's on. You know, so we could we could take you out entirely. And I'm just going to have you voice over just you being very well behaved, talking about when you came, it was bad. You made it 15% better. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> so you coffee. were the show. Coffee. So I was drinking too much. No, no, no. It's shots. We're talking about the shots you guys were taking. Oh, yeah. We took a bunch of shots. No, you were really. You were talking about. Uh, I was talking about how Jake wouldn't take certain direction. We were first talking that you were a shooter. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's the shots that I meant. Well, and then Jake. Well, yeah. I mean, I do like to shoot, no doubt. But Jake, when we would, when we would, like, we'd filmed a couple things together, and directors would come up to Jake and be like, "Hey, will you be like a little wackier?" And Jake would just literally be like, "No, I don't think so." Well, I think you got to have uh, your opinion on stuff. Would but you? I never but w- had that. No, I would take you would it. Do I'd be like, "All oh, right, yeah." But I'll you- drink it. Yeah, I think that it's your job on set to have your taste. Now, yeah. other people are just shooters and they'll say, like, I'm going to make anything work. God bless. Happy to be there. Um, but what I don't like about that is there was a moment when they wanted to do a cool, crazy opening. Can't get mad at that. And neither could I. I was excited about it. And no. one of the things was, Gareth, why don't you jump out the window? Well, it was a window on the first story, but everything else is accurate. And well, there's always multiple stories, you know, depending who you ask. And so yeah, the, especially in Hollywood. So the golf man said, yeah, it was going to be. A, but what's the problem with that? The physical what's bit. What's the problem with it? Well, the problem was that uh, there, there was <laughs> no planning, no stunts. There was no planning. So they basically put couch cushions out. It was still a drop. Kind of like when you did the jump thing. Yeah. No, no lot, way well, more intense. Better knees. Yeah. Uh, and they were like, they put couch cushions outside of the window and they were like, jump. And they wanted me to look down the camera. They wanted me to look right in the camera when I was jumping, which made landing hard. But so I was not like, looking at his but feet. He was going like, don't do this. Look at your fucking feet. You're jumping don't out do of a this. window. And don't do like, it. Jump out of a window. This. So, but it's no, just no, first it's floor though, right? First floor, but it's still, there's yeah, a drop. Just a few feet. It, a few feet. feet, few not, feet. Nothing major. Understood. Yeah. So, so I'm like, okay, you know, and, and Jake, I'm, I'm in his ear. We had just started. I'm saying as a friend, say no. Say because no. he might get hurt, not because it's not funny. Yeah, because he might well, get hurt. Well, both probably, but well, definitely because but also, he was like, it's, it's crazy. Script, he it's saw a, them putting couch cushions. It's a last second decision. They're directing. They're just spitballing. Fuck Is no. there a world where you say stuff like, hey, I'll do it, but we got couch yes, cushions isn't enough. Yeah. Like, that's what so I would So if something's think. planned or if I understand what we're trying to do, of course I'll right. play. Well, why didn't you then suggest that? Uh, well, it's, first of all, it's not our project. No one was listening to us. We were actors. So we were being told and all power you have as an actor is saying yay or nay. Right. So I was saying to him, as your friend, I'm a nay on this. Right. He goes, ah, fuck it. I'm, I think it could be funny. So, so well, I did room. one and I was like, all right. You go, you go, and yeah, well, <laughs> look at me now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and it went fine. Yeah. And then they were like, let's do another one. Just try to keep your, your eye contact right. with down the barrel of the camera. So I was like, all right. So I did another. 
And then they were like, really try to not break eye contact. So I'm like, okay, well, landing is like I was looking down to land. It's not too an feet. important part. It's I mean, I remember six, it high. six, seven. It's six, a, six feet. He's in the six air. Six feet is a lot. It's, it's he's a lot. In the it's air small. for a chunk. It's not two feet. Yeah. Right. He's jumping out of a window. Yeah. Six feet. But still couch. It's a high window. But again, it was probably in between what I would say yes. no to and uh, this. I remember a second story, but I don't remember it perfectly. No, okay. no, you've you've right. embellished the story, and uh, and so I jumped for the third one and landed and felt my hand, mm. extreme pain in my hand, and I looked down and my pinky had gone like that. And so my pinky had completely yeah, broken. I've seen that happen to somebody. And uh, and I, the director and I just made eye contact and I had a pure instinct, just snapped it back into place just because I saw it was bad. So I just was like, fix it, snapped it back in. And uh, and it was still fuck. I mean, it's still fucked up. If you look, it's got a little bit of a what's well, a little. I don't need yeah, that yeah. reaction. It's not like I believe you. It's fine. No. You remember? No, but yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. So I got one straighty and one English and uh and then and then I snapped it back in and then and then everyone was like, oh, great. Everyone was like, oh, that was awesome. You know, and uh, and then they get they I heard one of the guys go the first take the first take works. Right. And so then my so so I just was like, yeah, I'll be a team player. And Jake, meanwhile, when they asked Jake to shoot a fire extinguisher, no, they wanted me to sit on a, a wheeled office chair, go like jet. this to yeah. and then get. No, they wanted to shoot me. Oh, oh yes. okay, in right. slow motion where I get hit, go like, oh, and then I go away from camera. Yeah. And I said, no. Right. And they said, oh, no, it's going to be your character's intro. And I go, you're not spraying me in the face with a right. fucking fire extinguisher. With chemicals. On the second story near stairs. So I did it. I said, I'll do his <laughs> intro, too. I did that Are one, Are you being too. serious? Wait, no. Oh. oh. <laughs> For a second, I thought you did it. <laughs> I'm shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, but I that is when I remember why. But I also, like, that's what you're saying. When you say I shoot, I was watching him, even when Jake started to get, like, a new girl. Or, like, when, but wait, when you did, like. But wait, quick to end it. But the difference is the director hated me. Loved hated him, you, loved Adam, hated, loved the other. I was the bad but guy. But then, right. but then when hated he watched me, it, hated me. he goes, Oh, I actually really like what Jake did. But hated me bad. And I was like, I'm sorry. He wanted me to do a thing where a guy walks in, we're in a bar, and a guy goes like, and this is not talking shit, the guy's a nice guy. Yeah, he is. Uh, but he goes, he wanted the guy, the big guy to come out and go. Can like, you do me a fair? I'm sorry. I just noticed the water bottle. Will you also keep the big one up there? Keep this up there yeah. too? Sure. Why? It's outdoor bottle on the indoor rug. I'm there barefoot sometimes. It's Interesting. I I'm, I'm I have things. I yeah, have things. That's all right. Uh, Sorry. Okay. The big note was when the guy comes in, he goes like, "I just took a big shit," and he said to me, he got really mad at me. He wanted me as the I think I was a bartender to go like, yeah. always bartenders. Yeah, go like, yeah, and be really enthusiastic. Like, I like that choice. And I said, "Why would I be excited that a buddy of mine who's plus side took a huge shit?" <laughs> and he said, <laughs> "Well, it's just it's good energy for the scene." And I go. If I'm working and a friend of mine goes, hey, man, I just took a huge shit. There's you or your character? Both. Any human on planet Earth that I would ever play, I can't relate to that person who goes like, yeah, you took a big shit, man. How did it smell? Unless there's a joke. There's no joke. There's an energy. And I remember everybody was mad at me. Just say it. And I thought, I can't do it. Interesting. I, I understand guess not what? Feeling... I got things too, Rick. I got things too. I understand not wanting to do something if it's not in your wheelhouse. I had Larry Charles on the other day and we were talking oh, nice. about, the, uh, did, you, did you watch Dick's, the musical? That's no, his thing. it's great though. There, uh, it is, and there's a funny moment in it um, where Nathan Lane is supposed to do this thing, and and it, it was one of the funniest things in the movie, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, and then the credits, it shows like the behind the scenes, and it shows Nathan laughing at the pitch, but like, no, I don't know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Larry, like, just try it this way. And I was what I was talking to him about uh, because directing is, I want to be directing. That's what I want to be doing cool. so much. And one of the things that I struggle with sometimes is not reading a room, or how do I communicate without being aggressive of being direct, and blah blah blah. How do you make somebody feel safe to do a choice that you want to see if they don't feel it's in their wheelhouse? And that just conversation is making yeah, me yeah, think yeah. of that. And to not do something because you might get hurt, that's a different kind of boundary to me. I don't want to do that physical thing. Get a stunt person then. It's over. I'm not yeah. doing it. But like if it's a joke that the director wants to see and it might not work, but they want to see it. How do if I were directing you? And I well, like I get it. I get it. We might not use it, but I really want to see this. If you ultimately say no, so be it. But how do I get you to try to do it? And my qu real quick, yeah, there's yeah, multiple please. choice. Is it is it you judging the material 
and you don't ag- like it or agree with it? And or is it you not being able to, able to tap into that and it just not being your wheelhouse? And I don't know how to make that funny. I think it's uh, I don't like I don't view actors as clay and I don't view us as characters in a director's vision that they can move us around ever. Not the way I like to do it. Right. I have a collaboration and there's a partnership. If I'm coming in, I will never tell the director what they should do with camera or with any other actors. What when Gareth decided to do it, I'm telling my buddy. But in the end, God bless. I'm not saying anything to anybody else about their bits, the tone that's theirs. Right. When it's me and you, we work together. So director and you. Yeah. Right. Or and writer too, or you know whatever. Yeah. yeah I'm now this, part of the thing. Yeah, yeah. And so if I agree to do it, it's because we've had discussions on tone. We've decided right. on something. If you're changing your mind and wanting me to do something that you go, just try it. Well, what if I try it? I hate it. I'm embarrassed by it. It right. takes away the love of that thing we were doing, yeah. but you love it. Well, now it's yours. So now you could use it in your thing, which I'm doing, but I now hate. Right. I want to love it equally together. So therefore, if there's something that I go, I hate this choice. I don't understand why that's difficult to have a conversation and go, I can't wrap. I know what you want at the beginning of the scene, and that is a laugh and maybe some energy. Then can we do something? Can he say anything else yeah, besides yeah. I took a big shit? And if he doesn't, if he just goes, hey, I can give you this. Hey, hey! I can't cheer on a plus size buddy taking a big shit you because really if I do, into the plus size. but I'm now a different character because it'd be different if he was skinny. But now I'm a different person. Yeah. I, I, now my character doesn't able- make sense to me. Now I'm like, but what kind of human is this? So you're not saying no. You're saying let's find something different. Close. Tell me what the root of the note. If the root is energy, I can give you energy. Yeah, I, I can't to cheer that on a plus size dump. Unrelated um, to the actor director conversation, I was telling my girlfriend recently uh, how a lot. Whenever I'm in a public bathroom and uh, somebody poops or farts yeah. or something, I more times than not would be like nice or like yes or how was that? You through the do stall. That. Yeah. If somebody, if you're in well, a- I hear a plop, I go, it's a nice poop. Is this real? Alone? Yeah. No bit. It's, well, it I'm doing it bit, as a bit. But you're w- alone right. with a stranger. I also know, grew up Jewish. Yeah. Potty humor isn't potty humor for shock. We talk poops and right, farts yeah, yeah. and stomach aches and pain and what you could eat and, and not going. And it's a big part of the culture, sure. But the way I grew up, talk so poops are funny to me, not just because they're childish. It's just- I take that back. Poops are funny to me and they're childish. Right. <laughs> and But a stranger. Yeah. Uh, if I were taking a poop yes, yeah. and, and there's a big plop and someone go, <laughs> goes, nice plop, I would be like, don't leave yet. Yeah. Maybe we could do a podcast together. <laughs> I'm going to feel laugh connected. Too, by the way. Yeah. If I farted and someone said nice, I would laugh. Yeah. So that's funny to okay. me. Um, um, really what's bold the, to do with What's stranger? the best reaction you've gotten? Um, not, not as ass kicked. Yeah. No, I've never gotten a great reaction. Thanks, I've, got, man. I've gotten laughs. That's yeah. awesome. I have found that most people are uh, they're I understand they're feeling a little vulnerable in that moment. Sure, they don't yeah. respond. To it's it. a bad spot. I, I have would another joke strange. that I do all the time that doesn't go over too much. Yeah. But I, whenever I, uh, I order Postmates, I since COVID I don't open the door. I, they just put it down. So I'm looking through and they're taking a picture of the of the food, and I will go. Do you want me to take one with you in it? And usually they go, they don't understand. They go, no, 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 it's okay. But sometimes they laugh. Yeah, yeah. Very rarely. Right. But it's just a fun, it's yeah, a fun yeah, 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 energy yeah, yeah. joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that one, I, that one I can- That's f- different. Yeah, that feels lower stake. The the, yes. the plop or the nice. But I'm just saying having the instinct of knowing this probably won't connect. Yes. But there's something fun you're about trying. this. I wanna, you're you're I shooting. You're shooting. You're shooting. Something that, that I could do on this podcast that I can't do in real life. And maybe I'm okay with that is you could, we could edit stuff out. Yeah. In real life, you can't, but that doesn't mean... You can also edit stuff in. Wow. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> this, see, that's to, where you come in. See, that's up to your animal. Well, it's obviously, when you edit stuff in like that, it'll, it'll be a, a harp. Whoa! <laughs> no, the, well, yours, yours oh. was a harp sound effect yeah. with lots of fruits what, and vegetables. Yours is the stuff in your hand right now. What is that? Oh, that's Spider-Man poops. <sighs> I thought we were going to get through this without some of that. All right, Bars that, and tone. That was a great, uh, that was a great one. Let's do another one. Even bigger energy and action. <laughs> that hurts my throat. <laughs> and you might've prolapsed. You are, um, uh, uh, you make some of the best choices of any actor in the world. 
And this is something John and I talk about. We the choices you make are is this a sincere? Oh, very very sincere. Okay. The choices you make are are you're 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 a master at this, and it's fun to hear you talk about. Obviously, you have to have strong takes of yes or no because if you don't have a vision of what you're good at, you don't know what you're good at. So they they yeah. come hand in hand. Um, I also know you direct. Yeah. Uh, I've also heard that when you direct, you like to do this all the time. If you think this is bad, imagine me. <laughs> it's I'm nuts. Saying. I love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I love that if if you know what we need. Yeah. So then we could do it. And if you say we have it, great. But I do find it interesting that for somebody who makes such strong choices to to make it all like what happens if if Lamorne's on set with you and you have ideas for bits for him? Will you not pitch them to him? I'll always pitch. So I'm never against pitching. I'm never I'm never offended by an idea. I love an idea. I love an improv. Right. I also fundamentally when we used to do stuff on stage, I love saying no. So I always hated doing group improv where if you don't if somebody says like, "Well, now we're astronauts." to go like, "No, we're not." Right. And that's breaking it's a, a rule. Payless. But I'm like, yeah. but I don't want to go down that road. So if I'm in a scene with Lamorne or anybody and they start going down a road where I'm like, "I'm not seeing this bit." I'm not going to stop the bit. I'm now going to play my version within the bit, which might be trying to comedically kill Lamorne. Now, what if that steps on what they want to do? And you yeah, make the agreed. choice because that's your instinct. Yeah, to yeah, turn. Yeah. I would say, okay, hold on. I get, by the way, I'm going to give an example that happened with us. Please. There are no stakes, but yeah, just because yeah, yeah, yeah. it happened. Earlier on, I gave direction to um, do a commercial for your podcast at the beginning. Yeah. You said that I gave you none and him too many. So I go, okay, let's do it again. And now I'm giving you... Too, too many. I'm I'm heightening this bit. Yes. And you go, that's not what you did. Right. That's a choice. For better or worse, it's a choice. I wanted to do the other one. Right. Now, I don't care. But if this were something I cared about and I go, hey, dude, just let me do this bit. Do you let me? Maybe. What I also might do is during your bit again, make my choice again. And now we might be collaborating on a bit. And that is you go, honest to God, man. Let me get this one. And it becomes a new bit. And now it's a new bit. Now, eventually, if we kept going, would I let you? Of course. Right. But we might find something that's better than me interrupting or you doing it that way. And that, to me, is the game you play yeah. together. I think I'm the same as you. And hearing you say that is making me not like that I do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not not, not the first part. This was him on set. <laughs> <laughs> but like, oh, am I, am I, is, do I have such a vision on these things, yeah. even when I was going to you, and yeah. I, by the way, I love that you're pushing me back. Yeah. I live that that makes me feel more comfortable because I can't step on your toes. Right. But what about when people don't? And what about I'm like, no, no, do this, and they're like, no, and I, and I'm like, I need to get this. Yeah. And there I, are, well, I think there are certain jobs. So if I'm doing a podcast in somebody's living room for free, this is not a job. Right. So this is a favor. So if I don't want to do something on a favor job, I'm not going to do it. If I get hired and it's a big fee. When you brought up The Mummy earlier and I'm with Tom Cruise, I'm not stopping Tom Cruise. Great movie, by the way. Uh, would I stop Lamorne Morris? Yeah. Right. Would I stop a peer who's a friend? Yeah. If I get some gig and I'm deep on the call sheet and they've asked me to do something and I've agreed to go and they go, we see you this way and I've agreed to go. What and do you mean by go? So every job you get offered, right? And you decide to take it or not take oh, it. Oh, go on the job. Yeah, if you, you mean. decide to take the job and they tell you it's pretty serious, this is my vision. Right. I don't go on those jobs and then say like, wait a second, wait a second, I have a vision. But what happens when you what happens when you, the artist, and I don't use that term condescendingly, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean really, you disagree. But you but it's one of those jobs where you're like, no, no, no. I I have it doesn't matter if I agree or disagree, I have to do it. How do you get into a place where you're able to still shine? when it's something you disagree with. So for the mummy with Tom Cruise, I'll tell you a real story. So Tom, when I was offered that job, the director said, Tom Cruise wants to improvise with you. I was thrilled. Of course. Dream come true uh -huh. for a dyslexic who's terrible at reading that can just fuck around with Tom Cruise. Soon after getting there, I realized that was not accurate. Tom didn't want that or? the Tom wanting to improvise was, I think, Tom saying, I accept him as this role, but this is the vision for the role. The director was the fan of the idea of the improv and me and Tom together. When we started with Tom, he's really nice, but he has a true vision. 
So I was never fulfilling his wish in scenes. And did he tell you? Yeah. Well, he, he no, he would go the way like a great director or partner does. He'd go, can we go again a little bit faster? Yeah, Ooh, yeah. What if we did this? And he and I used to work out together before his wishes. So one day- You we, mean once you get the job? Yeah. So after I yeah. get the job. I've agreed to do it. I want to do it. I understand I'm living in his world. After a few days where I'm like, I know I'm not giving this man exactly what he wants and I want to. We were in the gym. We were about to go to rehearsal. I go, before we do the rehearsal, will you do me a big favor? And he goes, what? I go, will you do this scene, but will you play both characters? And he goes, I'll never- Almost like a line read you're asking I, for. But literally like bounce back right. and forth, weird out for me. And he goes, I will not do that because it'll step on your instincts. I'm, you're here for a reason. I go, I appreciate all the compliments. Will you please do it because I'm not getting it? Right. He did a scene. It was a walk and talk of me and him in some like cave where he was his character and my character. His vision of mine was so much faster, so much more energetic that I then just copied his vision. And after but that, you take, like, but you understood but his I vision. I understood it, and it's he understands that world more than me. If I'm on a sitcom, season five, and there's a guest director, absolutely, we are in a different game. So it's not one Meaning size. You fits know all. this world way better than the director. I, I know this character and the world, right? And so you're coming. I'm happy you're here. But if you're now telling me something, yeah. or if it's a pilot and we're building. And I'm going, great, I signed on for this. I can't go that direction because oh, if it this. works, now I'm stuck in that tone. Do whatever you want with the rest. But when we discussed, it was this. If I'm on a Coppola movie and he goes, I want you being very serious saying these two lines, I'm not going, hold on. Of course. Let me do this bit because that doesn't feel like the vibe. What I'm, I, I, I want to what's like, I want to take from this the most is not, hold, that's, not, oh, here's what I want to do, but more so when somebody wants you to do something that you don't know how to do. Right. It's not your wheelhouse or whatever. How do you find it? So one is asking the person to do it for you. Do you have any other examples of, I just can't oh, yeah, fucking yeah. get oh, in the yeah, pocket yeah, yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I do? Um, I don't think I do, actually. Do you have any? You're talking about when somebody wants you to do a bit and you don't get it? If I don't, if, if I, oh, just, if, you as the actor, if I get it and I don't like it, that's where I feel like you, I, yeah, I get it, but that's not, I don't yeah, want, yeah, yeah. but if like, I'm just, I, I did a, 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 an audition for Oatly Milk or something yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was a very broad thing and I got a call back for it. And then I was with the, you know, the people who whatever, and then they were giving me direction and I, I, I remember I said on the second, the first one, they, I did it the way I did. The second one, they gave me direction. A third one, I tried it. And they said, yeah, try this. And I said, I, I, I'm, I'm not getting it. I don't getting get it. it. I also so. don't want to wait. This, I don't think this is for me. Yeah. And I, I just said, thank you anyway. Oh, what do you I do got, in that spot? Go ahead. Well, I got one of you huh. when you did the Geico Caveman commercial. Right. And it was <laughs> like, you're supposed to be on the Jumbotron and they kept asking well, you to go bigger. So this was my example of I'm also an idiot and I fuck up a lot and I see things incorrectly at times. And then I'll go like, here's where we're at. I thought I was auditioning for the caveman. I thought oh, this I, is during an audition, not the commercial. This was the audition for Geico. They had me play the caveman. The caveman's very straight. Uh huh. I loved it. I was like, oh, I could do right. this. I'm reacting to maniacs. Fun. Whatever you want the maniac well, to do. Well, we also used to try, like when we would do commercials, sort of what you, we would try, we would get more excited about residual not, ninja. we called it a residual ninja, where you would not say anything, but you'd get paid the same as a principal oh, by just being on it was camera. Our, it was our group of friends version of your uh, background. being in the background. Yeah. And Can I had be some, in a spot? I had one where I was completely out of focus, Did completely out of focus and got paid forever on a commercial that I shouldn't have. And but, so this but that a, would be the big brat. So that, 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 would, be that like, would be, you would be like, check it out. You you're know what out I mean? of focus in a spot. You're a king. And you don't have to say shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would keep re-editing. But oh. this one was kind of a residual ninja. I thought it was. Yes. And I bragged about it because they had me audition as the caveman. So I booked, I go like, fuck yes, man. Like, yeah, the makeup's going to suck, but yep. I could do this for 10 Nobody years. Nobody knows it's you. And I'm dressed as a fucking caveman. Yep. I get to set. And my call time's like 8 a.m. Crew calls like 8.30. I was like- And they get that on fast. That's what I thought. I was like, great. <laughs> I guess it's a mask. And then I get there and I go like, what's this? And it was like a sporty outfit. So they basically they audition people in this role and then they're giving- the, they Well, they like him, we'll let you they do like something the else. They just, they just put you somewhere. Yeah, I've, that's happened to me. And that was the first time it ever happened to me. And so I get there and I'm like, all right. So I go to the hair and makeup. I was like, when do I put the stuff on? And they go like- they go, keep it down. Megan's furious. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, we have our cave people. You're super fan number two. 
And I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? And then they had the uh, storyboards. And the storyboards where the caveman's really cool. And then there's like fat, sweaty guy next to him. And you they had even the drawings of all the movement. Right. And I'm like, and he's oh, a real piece of shit. He's a, he's a big spaz. <laughs> and you didn't want to do it? I was he's like, the kind this of guy who brags air. about his shit. I was like, this is going to air every game. All this is the opposite of a ninja. And uh-huh. I had just started like, you know, maybe I had agents. I was just starting right. the game. There's no way not to be really hacky here. Uh-huh. The spot is I'm really hacky. Right. He's really funny. I thought I was being fucking him. <laughs> now I'm here. I also need the money. Uh-huh. So I can't do the move. I walk. I'm broke. You can't so, do the move. Well, walk away. Just say like, I thought I was doing another job. I quit. You're saying you can't do, you that. Can't do that. Right, right. Needed the money. Make me the caveman. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have any power. Couldn't do it. So I get to set. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, how do I do this? How do I do this? It's in a, a arena and they have like 200 extras and we're in the middle. And the way they filmed it is we're actually on the Jumbotron. It's a, it's a uh-huh. basketball stadium and Video Village is on the court. So I'm like, this is massive. And I was freaking out. On action, they go, everybody knows the thing. They're like, Jake, on a megaphone. Big, 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 wild, wild, wild. Honoria, Honoria, Honoria. And then they're like, Steve, you know what to do, whoever the caveman was. And he, yeah. he was not saying hi to me. He was like, I get the bit. So on action, I just do it the way I would like to do it. And that is pretty subtle, but I am annoying. I keep tapping him because the whole bit is he's on the jumbotron. Mm-hmm. You're telling him, hey, look at the jumbo. And I'm just going like, hey, my man, you're up there. And they go cut. And the director goes like, hey, Jake, that was a two. We, we need a 10. And I made the choice. I'm going to pretend to be brain dead. So rather than fight, I went like this. Brain being dead to the director, not I the went, character. I go like this. Oh, you wanted bigger than that? And he goes, <clears throat> way bigger. That was pretty small, no? And then the ad people all went like, and they were all going like this to me. And I went, action. <laughs> Cut. Jake, you're like going like this. Would you do like, and I go that, oh, like that action. And I was like, I'm going to get fired. Is this a yeah, is your mindset, you know, like, oh, I'm fucking with these people now. No, my, He's no. He's trying to sneak under the radar. I need the job. But you yeah. have to know that they're going to feel that you're. My thought was, what if they think I have actual shit for brains? Then they'll feel bad for me. So now you're. I'm not doing Andy Kaufman. I'm you'd not rather doing, play a role of, I am a stupid I'm bad human at being. This. Then play the role of just the thing they want I you to do. I would rather well, you guys think of that than it play on every Because you don't want to be embarrassed later. I don't want to be embarrassed for embarrassed TV for, for a, a year. football season. Because it played all oh, it played the time. And, and it's you just being... It's me. It's doing when you see it, you're like, wow, that guy is really not excited. You don't notice Jake. No, you, don't, you notice the caveman who's funny. He starts. It's a basketball game. You see the ref. Then you see him on the jumbotron. He goes like, oh boy. Then I pop in and I go, he goes, I know. Then he's got a bit. Right. I think we were maybe all watching the game together. It's a, I know it's with yeah. Steve. And all of a sudden he's like, that's the one? And it was like... Yeah. Ninja. You fought all day to not do the thing that long term would And then it aired for you. over... You know, oh, it made it great money. Ever. It was a huge Let's day. put it up. All right, sports fans. It's time to find Geico's ultimate fan. Tonight's winner will receive Geico t-shirts, hats, and an upgrade to courtside seats. And court star in a real Geico commercial. Let's see who it's going to be. It looks like we have a winner. Yes, we do, folks. How about that? Congratulations. And remember... Hey, this doesn't have any sugar in it. That's not, That's not the spot. That's is. Not. Yeah. <laughs> so I think there is. I don't think it's a one-size-fits-all. Honestly, I think there's a lot of times where people either go like, you're either an agreeable actor or you're a disagreeable actor, and they'll go like, ooh, he says... I don't think it's like that. I think every job is different. And I think every case is different. And I think in interviews, actors like to either be one or the other. And I don't think that's the case. I think it should always be a collaboration. And when it is, it works perfectly. And when you really trust someone's instincts, like certain directors I've worked with, Trent O'Donnell, for example, if he gives a pitch at New Girl, even if I don't get it, I'm going to try it because I know where he's coming from. And I'm like, I'm not seeing this one, but we have a shorthand Mm -hmm. where I know he's not putting me in a spot that's going to go against anything I'm trying to do. I'm just not seeing it because I haven't woke up yet and my brain's not working. Other people, that is an earned trust. And until it's there, it's like, I can't just assume yeah. we're doing the same dance until I know we are. So because of what I connect with with you, with if that's not something that's 
my wheelhouse judgment or not judgment. Yeah. Like I'm not, um, one of the things I, I go back and forth with, I don't like this about me or maybe it's okay yeah. is if I were working a ton, then let me pick whatever I want to do. But I, I turn a fair amount of things down Same. and I'm not working, but I'm, right. I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. working with Tom Cruise. I'm just saying no to things a lot. And I don't like that about me. Not that I'm saying no, but like, am I sabotaging opportunity? Not necessarily that the, the, the project is going to be great. Maybe it will yeah, be, yeah. but also like, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. And, you and, could meet somebody. You could yeah. get, yeah, yeah. And, and whenever I've done stuff, I've, at least I get podcast guests. I have fun. I make friends. I do bits. Maybe people don't like it. I had a great time. And like, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't see this and I'll have conversations and I'm just saying no all the time. Yeah. So if I'm able to find ways of doing stuff, I guess that's what I'm trying to squeeze As out of actor, you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm the worst guy to ask. <laughs> I am. I say no all the time. You're uh, so. But what I'll say, what I do now, which has really helped me is even if I'm thinking of saying no, I'll have a very honest talk with either the showrunner or the director. Of why? It, yes, but not, but I won't do it as a no. Like if I read something and I'll go like, on page 17, there's a fucking dance month. This doesn't, I don't get this. Before, I used to just say, I won't do it. Now I'll talk it out and I'll have a discussion and I'll say going in, I'm not into this. Where are you at with it? If we don't see eye to eye, then I'll right. say, great meeting. I would like to work on something else, but I can't go down this. Right. But a lot of times you actually find this was a note given by some executive. They don't even, that one moment you hate, mm -hmm. they don't even care about. Right. There'll be like certain lines. I'm like, well, I can't say that. And they'll go, well, obviously it's a stupid exposition line. We needed because of this executive. And they're like, but that's just for the table read. And once I'll hear that, I'm like, oh, then I'm totally, yeah. I'm fine to say it at a table yeah. read. And that level of communication for my brain puts me at where I'm like, okay, now we're on the same team, but I'm that person. I'm texting showrunners all the time, uh, constantly going back and forth, never about anything but my character, Showrunner, but it's nonstop. Like you're on script number 65, always. you're saying. I'm always you're pitching. Like, I'm always yeah. thinking for this character, could I do this? Could this be different? Could this, a nonstop relationship, a nonstop communication um, until the thing ends? Um. Gareth, we have, I, 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 they've been going back and forth and I'm feeling like I still got to hear more about the coffee stuff, but I want to acknowledge, uh, because I have one more question about this, but like where I wasn't talking to you much. Okay. And uh, if that means you come back on, if you're interested. Let's um, do it now. Um, we'll do it now. But I want to, let me ask one more question. <laughs> yeah. about He's going this. on tour to Australia. Go now. <laughs> wait. wait, do you have dates in yeah. Australia? Yeah. Uh, what month? November. I leave November 6th. There's a decent chance this doesn't come out until the end of then. Well, if you saw me in Australia, wasn't that great? Gareth Cut to the com. audience. We'll oh. put up the video. We'll put up all, all of your dates starting the week this comes out in the right. next month or two. That's fine. We'll put up right here. Uh, no problem. Wow. Um, uh, also, I don't want to end now. You guys leave yeah, whenever yeah. you need to. Yeah. But I want to. One more follow up with that is, I love to pitch. Um, I uh, and I love bits. Same. Uh, and when I'm on a show, I will do that. Same. Um, I don't know you and what your relationships are. I just know that I just, I genuinely think you're one of the greatest. You're, you're it's, you're a master. I'm such a big fan of yes, yours. I'm a big fan of you too. Thank you. But you don't get to where you are by, unless they edit out tons of misses, which yeah. is a possibility. It just seems like you, you have pretty good instincts. Um, I know that I take really big swings and it might not work. And that's fine as long as it doesn't waste people's time. But I need to ask if we could try this first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came into some awareness like six years ago where I realized, oh, I'm bothering you. I'm doing too much. And I try and go back and forth with like, <laughs> let me not do what I may be doing bits while everyone is fighting. Well, also let me still show up authentically. Do my thing. So in order to do that, I just have to do less and check in. And that makes me not be as present. And right. But what I found is when I, like I did a show called As We See It and it was a drama and it was serious, cool. meaning, meaning that like, but still, I want to pitch stuff. If it could be fun or funny, whatever. But I, I felt like I did a really good job of pitching one out of every 15 things I thought. Yes, that's correct. And there was one time I won something. I'm like, this, I mean, of course, it's the right choice. They might not use it, but they're wrong. I don't know. But like, that's yeah, my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said something to the director who was we liked and he liked me. And and uh, I said, hey, b b uh, before we cut, I, I want to make sure I could do one where I I want to do this. Uh, I have something I want to do. That's I didn't tell what it was. I said, I have something I want to do. He goes, I know. And he said it wow. in a way where yeah. I get that a lot. You do get yeah, that a lot yeah. for sure. I'm fine with him making fun of me. Yeah. 
What I'm not fine with, even though it's out of my control, is being difficult and making Same. your job harder. So this, uh, what you need to do, I'm going to give uh, unsolicited advice very much like our podcast. We're here to help. Nice. Uh, uh, what you need Have to do Have a conversation is, with the director beforehand. Before. I so, do. You do. Okay. But really over the top, because what I did, so that happened, I did an ABC procedure and I was excited about it. It was after New Girl. It was shooting near my house. Everything worked. It was with Kobe Smothers, Michael Ely, two people I'm big fans of. I was very excited. I had a big talk with the director, the showrunner to start and said, like, I don't want to be. I was like, what I need to be able to do is improvise and keep it loose. I'm not a good actor. If you're trying to get me to do Shakespeare, I'm one of the worst actors in the game. If you just want somebody by the numbers. I did a movie with uh, Lee Pace when I first started. And it was the realization of uh, he's greater than me as an actor, and I'll never get to his mountaintop. He had a monologue. He delivered it perfectly. Max Winkler, the director, could go, line six, could you speed it up? And I thought the director was joking. <laughs> I thought like, yeah, because we were robots. And he did it, and I was like, I'm not trained. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I if you want that, I'm not your guy. I have to be loose. I have to find it. And I told them that on the show. Then when we got there, they were very respectful, but it isn't what they wanted. So on that show, I stopped pitching. I didn't improvise because when I would go, can I try something? They would all go like this. Um, yeah, but you're not going to use it. I'm not doing it for me. Right. I, if, if you're never going Say to use no. it, then just it's fine. Right. But I have to get out of here because I am now <laughs> invited. I'm at a party that I don't belong at. Right. And I'm, I have to get that out That was why I'm saying, I'm saying no to a party I don't belong in before I go to the party. Yes, but you're making the right choice because what's worse is being stuck at a party for seven years that you don't belong at. So tell me, I have my way of doing it and it's over communicating, but I learned this after that moment. I started talking to directors after I realized, yes. oh, um, what, what is, give me a, I'm going to be directing you. Okay. And I don't know that you're an improviser or whatever. Hey, Rick, can I talk to you for a second? Let's, yes. will you do that for me? Sure. Um, I need a little bit more setup. I don't know how to initiate this. So this is a script you've offered me. I like the part. You like I the might part. say yes to this. We're talking. Yeah, about. but you want to make sure that you could come in and show up authentically. Then I would say, hey, man, if you're. Hold on one sec. Okay, I pass. <laughs> <laughs> pass. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. I would say uh, if you're looking for an actor to be word perfect, I'm not your guy. And if we get to set and you change your mind, I'm for sure not your guy because then I could be a real asshole. I, I'm not not word perfect out of choice. My brain doesn't work that way. So the way my brain works is I might never do the monologue exactly the same, but I will not change the intent and I'm not looking to rewrite your story. But if I come onto this character, I have to understand and right. fall in love with this character so that it becomes mine. Now, not exclusively mine, but it is ours. But if in the end you're just trying to get me to say yes so I could do it your way on set, it'll be really bad for both of us. And some people go like, I hear you. And I'll see them tune out and then I figure out a way to get out of the meeting and they're a happy pass on me. But other people go, good, because I think your character is good, but it could be better. And those are the relationships I really cherish. What if it's something that you already have a job? Guest director comes in and maybe it's a guest director who's this. They do it a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really difficult. Um, Probably that day of your episode was a guest director. Okay. Do you, and, and those, it, those are really hard. What about uh, instead of just telling the director, hey, this is who I am and what um, is there anything, any advice I could extrapolate from you of like, what could I tell the director? What could I offer? Like, just so you know, uh, if you if we could do this, it makes it easier for me. Like, is there yeah, any yeah, yeah, solution? Yeah, yeah. Totally. I think it's really hard. Mine is. Yeah, I, I do too. I, I really connect with the script supervisor and I say I am dyslexic as fuck. So if you come up to me in the middle of a scene and go, you missed that word. It's bad for my brain. It's not going to be good for my brain. So if I'm missing the point of something, please tell me. Otherwise, don't. And then I'll try to say to guest directors, if you're looking for it for a certain way, I might not be that guy because I got to find it with you. And then if it goes sideways, I go back to the Geico guy. And that is. Yeah. And it just is what it is. Unfortunately, I have shit for brains and you're trying to tell me something basic. But I can't be in the thing incorrectly. Now, what I like about what you were saying about being a shooter and it's similar to Gareth. And it's what I like, honestly, about our podcast with it is I will start at the beginning and I like to kind of reset the story. But we need someone to start shooting and start making jokes. And even if the pitch is bad, you'll sometimes come in and as like our kind of soft formula is if I'm recapping, Gareth will go, I think I got something. And good or bad, it starts us. So what I'm allowed to do, because we're not sensitive with each other, 
is he can say something. I'll go, that's dog shit. We're not. No, 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 no. Often. No. Do, you, yeah. do you agree that that, yeah. that, that shorthand is fine? Yes. Yeah, that's the that goes back to like that's what Jake was saying about improv. Where like we would do like we met doing longer form improv, and the key to that would be like to be comfortable with the person so that you could say like no, or you could go like you're George Watt, whatever the fuck, stupid. I mean, it's yes. improv, so it could be like it sounds stupid when you're replaying it, but that comfortability would always behoove like the comedy, and that's the same on our show where yeah, there is total freedom. For Jake, I mean, I'm not even going to say the thing this guy DM'd me today about the. Well, now we got to hear it. Fucking, I can't. Do, I can't talk about how it was this, some guy called me fat Aaron Paul again. But um, do you want but, me to bleep that? The, the bit started. We were doing something about <laughs> Gareth was talking about an old stand-up thing he did, and one of the comments that hurt. We were just talking about comments hurting, and hurtful he said, com- things that you're just like someone threw out there. Some fucking weirdo throws out a comment on YouTube. You are trying to avoid this but it stuff. Sticks in but your head. some whatever. Someday you're off. Oh, I'll check it out. Whatever. I'm bored. I'm at the airport. Yeah, yeah. You go through and. You you just see one and it just it fucking brands you. And this guy just branded me when he said fat Aaron Paul understand this Were from you 10 heavy? years ago. He was, I was heavy. heavier, but he looked at the time he had short hair. He looked like fat Aaron Paul. And it just, and it was like a clip that it was, I mean, this was like laugh factory, seriously, 10 years ago. And it got like, for my view count at the time, I was like, Oh, that's fucking great. And so I was celebrating it. I was yeah. doing the joyful right, looking, scroll, looking for validation, and seeing yeah, some yeah. positive <laughs> stuff. And then right. it just stops like a fucking slot machine on fat Aaron Paul. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck. And yeah. I just was like, why did I, it was a good lesson in comments. And so I was like, why the fuck did I go there? Well, then, so I, so we're talking about it on our show because there was a guy impersonating Jake. Um, and, right. and so we kind of leaned into that on our show. We had the fake Jake guy on. And that's sort of- You ended up getting him on? Yes. Yeah. But we leaned into the idea of like, oh, the show can Opening grow. Opening the show up a little bit to maybe- What do you ins- mean the show could grow? Well, instead of it just being fully advice, strangers call, you know, there we could open it up a little bit into like a B or C segment where it's like having someone from our lives on, but it's yes. a problem or but there Gareth is some- was helping, the show was helping me deal with somebody impersonating me. And so that led to the conversation about this. And I just, uh, you know, one of those things where you just go, ah, probably shouldn't have said that. I just told the fat Aaron Paul story. And since then- it's become a runner on our show. But not only that, people have been, some guy wrote in, he's a voiceover actor, and he recreated yeah. an opener where he'll go like, weird help with Jake Johnson and Aaron Paul. And so it's one of those things where it just, it, it and now is, it, yeah. yeah, it snowballed. And this guy messaged me on Instagram a couple days ago, and he was like, this bit has, I feel bad for you. I feel like it is offensive, and it's going to, and I was just like, you You're calm not, down. But also, he's not getting it. And that's the thing is that you just it I do not like you should not be precious with that sort of shit. And when you're buddies like we are we've been buddies forever. So, yeah, on the show, it's like shut it down. Right. I'll defend it. If and then, I'm wrong, but then I'm the wrong. Game. Yeah. And the game is really it's almost like competitive advice at yes. times. And at other times it is just like mm-hmm. helping each other, but just the, like but a sh- good, yes. you know, good improv. But shit. the show does not. So if I was trying to do so, Gareth pitched me this idea. I wasn't interested in doing podcasts. And then Gareth was saying we should do one together. And this was his idea of a pitch. Gulp, gulp, gulp. And I thought like, man, that's really fun. My problem would be if I didn't have Gareth was I would go off the energy of every caller. So you and me, if we if we were just here and we got into the act, I could do that the whole time. It'd be really sincere. We'd leave and I'd be like, what a great guy. If you were really bitty, then we're doing bits the whole time. Gareth makes sure our show is funny. And that is essential because that's the tone. The earlier ones when I was editing, all the cutting would be me cutting off these big talks and get into Gareth's jokes because he'll just shoot. Mm-hmm. So even going to you on set that day, it just happened to be the wrong day. The play is right. Yeah. What keep, is the play? Keep shooting. Oh, doing bits. Yes. Keep That day happened to be one of those days, but the shooting- Which is I think, why you were probably like, hey, an extra line. That's because I was you like, know? oh, also, you're shooting, my man, off. after nine hours. Yeah. I also re- don't remember- won. I don't remember well enough, but yeah, yeah, I do yeah. I do know that like, even if it were today, I of course, I'd want to come on. I mean, this ends up, especially long form, and I, I'm generally trying to get information yeah, yeah, yeah. too. But so it's like, it's. Not, I mean, we started with a lot, but like- I just just joke do jokes constantly. constantly. I only want jokes. I only Same. want to laugh or learn something. Yeah. Um, but to go in for when you're having a day 
And for, but there's also, there's also a, a shame that I have when I came into some self-awareness of looking back. I, um, I have a bit that I do on stage. I actually said on, on a podcast already, so I don't like to do my bits on here, but I have a bit where I talk about like, I didn't real, uh, I didn't have friends growing up, but I didn't know it until recently. <laughs> I just thought everyone was busy. I, I, I just believed what everyone would say. And like, I can't today and I'll keep that calling them. That is really sweet. So like, I'm yeah, on yeah, set yeah, yeah, with yeah, you yeah. guys and I don't know. And by the way, when I said condescending, I didn't mean you were no, condescending, no, no, know, yeah. but like, that's what, it, that's what is so funny to me. Like Amazing. we're having fun. He's like, oh, look at you getting an extra line. I'm like, yeah, buddy, yeah, yeah. I don't need that. But like, yeah, look yeah, at with yeah, this. Yeah, and now yeah. you're like, we were having a bad day. You don't know that Video Village has a different opinion. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it sucked. It and you made it a little worse. And I'm like, I believe you. I'm like, oh no, I'm embarrassed. The reason that I said that to you was and I had misread you. I didn't know your backstory in it. Was you didn't I know thought, you were on an NBC show at well, the time. No, but what I thought is like, hey, shooter, you won. <laughs> Shooting pays off. <laughs> There's one win. I understand. If, I understand what but, you're but saying. But if you have one line in a show, the only way to get two is to shoot. The yeah. only way to win is you have to be fearless and keep going. And, and even what you're saying, you're doing when you're on set and you keep the only way to make your character somebody that you watch later and go like, hey, I like that. Yeah. Is fucking shoot and deal. My your shame when you said comes in a mystery. My shame is is you know I didn't like that that director hated me. I left that when we were all together. We right. were hoping that was going to be our pilot. He was a big deal. I wanted him to like me and put me in everything. And he and I would be texting, and he's like, he's like, yeah, I'm with him. You're not his guy. And we would laugh, and I'd be like, and then he watched it, and he's like, I it see was, some, a, but that yeah, he watched it and was like, well, he's really. But good he had in been this. talking so much shit. Who's about really good in it? Jake. In that the director the guy was watching Jake. Was watching but, Jake's performance. But up and was to like, that, he shot me down every step of the way. I really like. But what up he did. to that, Gareth was because we are friends. We're not sensitive with each other. Right. He could be saying, "Yeah, he yeah. hates you, man." Yeah. And I'm like, I've had a lot. And for me, my relationships go in the business. Some really like me. Some hate me. And I'm like, I'm just trying to do this one thing. Yeah. I'm not putty. I'm not. Mal I can't do everything. From so Seinfeld. Yeah, David Putty. I, I mean, God bless his career. But no, no. We had a picture of Putty up for a second, yeah, then he snapped it away. Picture. No. It's back. But see, this is what I can tolerate this. Stop. Whoa. Dinosaur. What the First fuck? Base. Kristen Bell. Finally. Your Coppola mustache. <laughs> Does Coppola have that mustache? No. I don't remember. No, you do. Yeah. But I think that's where it gets tricky. And you will have people where you're on set and I'm like, when I'm talking about the camps, most likely the writers were very mad at me or Zoe or Megan. Or John. Probably John. J John was irrelevant. No disrespect, John. Cut that out. Or do a close-up of John's face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is the thing you deal with where you're like, there's just going to be people who do not like that you keep shooting and pitching. But I'm really trying now. I would rather pass than be in that experience. Because when yeah. I first started, I was yeah. at a lot of jobs where I would be fighting with directors and I would be in Atlanta and being like, this is not worth it. And I was like, this childhood dream is not what I thought. Fucking pass. And because I don't have stand up, and I learned really quickly, improv isn't the thing. And You're saying like doing I, improv shows. Yes. Yeah, but also doing like improv or sketch, which was how we all came, my group came up. Which is different than improvising in a scene. Yes, that's agreed. what I'm asking. But like stand up, which I respect about you guys, is you guys can say like, fuck this, pass. I'm just going to go off and do my other thing. I didn't have that. Right. So mine was like, this fucking acting thing sucks. I hate this director. I hate this tone. Pass. And Which then, is why the podcast appealed to you too, to be able to like. Yes, but also I. Wait, oh, do you still feel no, that way though? No, no, that was a big jump. Cut that out. Uh, putty. <laughs> no, silly putty falling. But what that, is, what that does for me, which I'd recommend for you. Is what is that? What are we talking about? The big discussions beforehand where you actually trust you. Like Minx, uh, Ellen, uh, the showrunner of uh, the show I did, Minx, she's the perfect example. I got the script. I really liked it. We had big talks about my character. He's a character I understood because of my uncles and my dad in that world. I can't make him be a, a certain version of that character that I thought was too soft. So we had so many talks before I said yes. So by the time we got to the pilot, she and I were on the same team. So if she would say... Can you just do this? Because it's I'm thinking of my dad and I would like it. I'm a yes to her. Mm -hmm. The show I'm on now, I'm uh, fourth, I think, okay. on the call sheet, um, but might as well be eighth at that point, um, which I 
love. Yeah. It's the Perfect. first time I've ever felt like I'm a working actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I works. don't feel like I'll show up to work and I'll do the thing and I'll leave and it's not, oh, my vision. Like I'm, yeah, yeah, And I'm fine with that. Yeah. Um, I'm also so grateful for the job. Um, but I also, when you're there, you want to be funny. Yes. And you want the crew to laugh. I want the crew. I, I also want to feel like funny. I'm bringing value Same. to this. Um, it's a really delicate dance. It's really it's hard, man. It's maybe the hard. I mean, at least now with the experiences that I have, it's maybe the hardest part about this is like, I know how to make this funny. In my opinion, yes. I, I think I can match their tone. How do I convey it to at least try it so they could see? And yeah, I'm just it's it's been it's really hard. Like I, I felt myself going in and like trying like and like definitely muting myself. For sure. And it, it's not it's. But then also, at least for me, I also from childhood really like when I know somebody's sense of humor. And even if their sense of humor is not always mine, I like knowing how to make someone laugh. I like pleasing them. Mm. So if somebody, Liz Merriweather on New Girl, she and I had different sense of humor at times, but she was so clear on what she liked. So I was happy doing a bit that I didn't fully want to do because I knew she was at Video Village laughing. If you're pitching me something and you don't know and I don't know and nobody's fucking laughing and the crew's tired... I don't want to fucking dance that what way. What happens if you do something in rehearsal and everyone's laughing and it's so much fun, but then the they go like, yeah, I love it. It's just, yeah, I know it doesn't yeah, it's work. Hard. The time. It's like, hard, I know. But the, everybody was laughing. It's, yeah, it's fun. hard. Yeah. It's hard. I don't know. But it seems like what you're saying is that's all I'm going to do. Right. <laughs> and no. I guess you could earn that, but then you, you're disrespecting no. the, the creators. So I, if, if you, because there are certain bits that you do in rehearsal that crack everybody up that I do think are wrong. I think there's yes, different. Yes, if, if, if it's deconstructing the yes. thing and they're laughing at the wrong reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying those. Yeah. I'm saying this is fun. Yes. But I, what I will say, like, if you do a certain thing, if Gareth and I are doing something and I, we know our bit, it's a 20 year bit. Yeah. So what I don't like about a guest director is if they're all of a sudden saying, so Jake, I wouldn't, I wouldn't interrupt Gareth when he does that bit. Let's get him. And I go, no, I'm going to interrupt. But then Gareth steamrolls back. And where we're going to get to is the big laugh. I won't listen to that note. I won't have you change a dynamic that we know how to do. So like if we had a guest director on our podcast, that's how I feel about certain directors on TV. And they go like, great. So Jake, you start. And we go, no, Gareth always starts. Right. I know, but Jake, you take the call and really enthusiastic. And I go, no, Gareth starts. He's not that enthusiastic. He kind of gets him back and forth. But then we find a bit. You're in that world and you're like, I don't think you know our show. Do you feel the same way? If somebody comes in and says stuff, are you, no, that's not how it goes. Or are you, I'll try this. I'm more of that. I mean, but I will say, I think there's a lesson in like, I, having worked with Jake, seeing the way that if you do stick to what you want, but I am, I mean, I'll, I'll try most shit. I still will. I think there's definitely something to saying no. I mean, really the way that like, when we first started hanging out, I knew that Jake like Jake had such a clear vision for what he wanted to do. And I was more like, I'll do whatever. I was in multiple commercials where I was like, that's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Where I would see his Geico spot and be like, oh, fuck. I'm smart. But I also knew Gareth was going to be successful because he, he's constantly shooting. And he's funny. Yeah, I would and go I the would other go route, like, Throw I, as much I, shit at the wall and see. And but I would always think I should shoot more. But it definitely results in things where, yeah, you go, fuck, that was embarrassing. You know. But I think like the longer, the longer you do shit, the more that's why I like podcasting. Because podcasting is just your or stand up, you know, your ability to just take it all in your own hands and you self nothing more fun than collaborating and doing bits with people, though. Oh, yeah. That. I love that. Nothing but I even think fun. I even I think in stand up, you can do that to some extent with the crowd. Yeah, I think yeah. there is like a given. It's not a t like, yeah, and you could you could shoot around outside by yourself. But having somebody that like you're oh. pimping out or they're pimping you oh, out. Yeah. Or, a dream. Well, that's why pot. Let's say like the it's the most best way to connect with somebody. The, the dollop, the dollop. My other podcast is like the best for that. Because Could you get that on uh, all streaming platforms? Yeah, all streaming platforms. is It is like a historical story. And so there's already a story built into it. And so then when you're improvising are like these crazy moments from history and shit like that. So you are, there is like, that to me is the best. The version where you have like a game plan and then you can just shoot your shot within some sort of confinement. But then I that's why I like doing our podcast too. 
But I, to me, like podcasts have become so addictive mm. that when I will do something that's not mine, it is a bit strange and I don't like it as much. But, I would much yeah. rather do my but own going shit. to the connection. I would agree. I think the absolute best part of our business and that connection is if you're in that two shot with somebody and you know them and you know their bits, they know your bits. You both know how to make each other laugh. You know how to make the, the director laugh. Everybody knows what the bit is. The material's funny. And it starts and you guys look at each other and they give you a look and say, like, don't do that thing that I know you're going to do. Uh -huh. And then it starts like that whole bit earlier of like, let me the interrupting thing. Once you both look at each other and that person goes, I know what you're going to do and I don't want you to. I've got three quarters of dialogue to get through. We did a wedding episode, uh, a wedding speech episode. And Lamorne is a master of that bit. And he's one of my favorite guys for please, Lamorne, don't do that thing you're going to do. And he'll go, no problem, no problem, no problem. And you go like, but please. And while I'm saying that, I don't mean it. I want him to do it. And, and you go, also don't. <laughs> yeah, and you also but don't. You know yeah. it's going to work when he does it. But, but like, you let also, me try in to do this my thing. moment, I'm taking this That's how I felt to go back to that <laughs> stupid thing. It doesn't matter. I want to get my thing. But I this. I mean, that's this is going to be more. But that's the game. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so the whole that's bit. That's the playing with each that's other. The, that's what I love. Yeah. And in that, it only works if somebody's getting a little pissed at times because uh -huh. you both care. Fake pissed, fake, yeah. But but no, feeling like, real, no, but real like, pissed, but real but and fake. And here's the yeah, thing that yeah. I that I didn't know about. Yeah. Not everybody likes that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are people that like to use a basketball analogy. Let's push each other. Let's yeah. like get like I love that. Let it's, me let me try and beat you. So you try with, and beat me. With us as we go, and the, even the fat Aaron. It's never personal. We'll do a thing where at the end of the thing, he could go like, "And fuck you." Once we stop, we laugh together and we'll go like, that was fun. Because it's well, not that's what that guy's message was. That yeah. guy's message was like, you clearly don't like it. Right. Yeah, like, like, no, no, my role is to be this like, stop. Is, the bit is you yeah. go, no, 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 yeah. no. And I go, and you go, you know what, Jake? You're a minute, you know, and I it's know what you're doing. You're grounded in reality because nobody wants to be called <laughs> Fat Aaron Paul. But yeah, but the deep bit down, is. And so ours is, they said, will you make a wedding speech for my sister's wedding? And so we said, yeah, let's do a thing. You guys are fans of New Girl. Let's get me, Gareth, and then the surprise will be Lamorne. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a Three quick- Three people on New Girl. Three people on New Girl. And we'll do a quick little bit and do the little wedding speech. And this is a video? This was a video that they ended up right. playing and we recorded it with the woman. And on the first take, I thought we did a good job. We all introduced ourselves. We all had a bit. We all gave advice, jokey advice. And then Lamorne ends as Denzel Washington. Works. Cut and print. So I guess he didn't even do a second take. Well, that's what mm -hmm. we thought. The woman- Interesting. The woman on the caller genuinely afterwards, because we all thought it was pretty good. Yeah. She goes, um, yeah, uh, um, that was good. And we thought, oh, my God, you're not going to use it, which makes for me the show great, because now she's in on the fucking bit. She just doesn't know it. She's giving us the engine. She hated our thing. Mm -hmm. So then we got to go, what would you like? And she was like, I think Lamorne was swearing. She There's was old people long. in the church. Yeah. So now. So he goes harder. So then I'm going, I'm with her. Okay. This is the premise of the show. You and me are together. Gareth is playing. You're driving me fucking nuts, lady. This isn't working. And Lamorne's quiet. Every take starts. Uh, my game is I'm with you. Nicole, we're going to figure this out. This is a beautiful thing for your family. I, am I missing something? This is a random fan. So the, <laughs> you call in the show. You email the show. Then we pick it. Then on our podcast, you call it. Understood. This is for the podcast. This is for the Got podcast. It. Makes sense. So every single time as we'd be going. So you know people are going to see this, whether it's at the wedding or not. 100%. Yes. Copy. So as we're doing the thing, we're I'm introing it. Then I go to Gareth. Gareth shoots, gets his laugh. Then we transition. And then we would go to, I think I would do it second. And then we end on Lamorne. And every time he would ruin it. And in the middle, you'd be thinking, at least I was, just let us get through. Partially, yeah. You're partially like until he doesn't, and then you're like, that's good. Yeah, and I would be thinking because I I get very serious. I take bits seriously. I don't get hurt afterwards, but I want to play. So I would be thinking, don't fuck me here, Lamorne. Just finish it. And then once Lamorne would do it, there was a time I would cry laughing because he's now in the rhythm. I'm gonna ruin Jake's day. Yeah. Yeah. Jake's whole day is to get this stupid fake. Every cameo. note she had would be for Lamorne, and that was really direction. Oh. For the next part of it, for the next yes. speech. That happens so much with Lamorne here. <laughs> the doing stuff. It. It's Killed it's so me. frustrating, but it's yeah. like the it's the But he would do that on set best. and uh, uh Trent O'Donnell, the guy I mentioned before, um he directed I half the episodes. He wrote, I got PTSD listening to that episode because I was back on set with Lamorne. <laughs> and I was like, 
perfect. But that's why Lamorne's one of my all time favorites because there's moments in something where I'm now taking this thing seriously. So I'm in this. And then I would look in his eyes and go like, you're going to fucking do it. That's, that's where I think the, the connection, connection comes Mitchell. from because, because you guys are, he knows what you want and you know what he wants. Even if they don't give it to you, just that under, by them yes. not giving it to you is, oh, they see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and it's fun. It. And, and we're laughing. Right. But when you then, for me, and this is what I've kind of realized with this strike again, what I want to go back and do is just comedy. I just want to go back and I want to do like some version of a sitcom because I want to have something back where it's everybody knows everybody's bit. And all we're doing is trying to make each other and this group laugh. Mm -hmm. Because when you do that, the audiences also like it. You like it. And it's a really fun day. And I'm like, I don't want to do the other thing where I'm like fighting with somebody or begging somebody. I'm starting to get too old to go like, want, I'm still fucked up. My brain's dead. I'm like, I can't keep doing this also because our, the bosses keep getting younger and younger. So I'm like, the new show owners are going to be 27 and I'm going to be like, I'm fully balding. I'm about 300 pounds. Please, please just let me do this one fucking thing before I fucking shoot my head off. I can't keep doing it. I'm aging out. So I'm like, I just got to get a few geezers, one young person so people actually watch. Let's just do that for seven years and let me get out of this fucking nightmare of a game. Easy, Jim. Jesus. <laughs> Liquid death. Something about armless Ar Palmer. You did, uh, I don't remember what it is, and if I can find it, I'll put it up, but maybe four months ago, there's a, uh, there's a new girl clips all the time, you yeah. know, um, Instagram, something, and I sent it to John, because like, it's, you don't see this on television for two reasons, um, I'll set up what the bit is, I don't remember what it is, but it was you getting stoned, do you remember what this is, do you get stoned a lot on new girl, I don't think you did. I don't think so. You no. were stoned, Okay. and I don't remember what it was, Yeah. Okay. but you were supposed to go to the wedding and max was like no don't I, whatever yeah, it was okay. you weren't listening and the scene was one could argue way too long it was yeah. over a minute and there was no story it was just funny and it was so funny Thanks, it was so 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 funny and i sent it to john because we we send stuff to each other all the time also he's a fantastic writer and it's like other than laughs there's no point to the scene for a 22 minute show how does it stay in you don't do that in shows because no. there's no time for it. But it was so. I, I want to try and find it so people but can that, see what it that is. That stays in because going back because of Liz Merriweather. So if you don't have Liz Merriweather, when you're saying you're pitching to the director and they're going, "I knew, go ahead and try it," you're wasting your time. They'll right. never do it. Right. And so when, then let's not do it. So why are we, I'm not fucking. I'm doing it to in the end Maybe have that in. person go. And Max is perfect at because Max has that same thing with Lamorne, and that is he'll get that little devil in his eyes. Where I'm like, oh, you're looking to play now. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, fun. And that set would have long hours. So what would happen is everyone would get overtired. And then you would get in trouble. Uh -huh. And once us, once actors get in a little bit of trouble, that's where it gets really fun. Because now you're like, oh. For you. for Yes. Well, for the vibe in the air. Yeah. Because a scene that should be, like we used to, Max and I used to do a thing that was very childish, but I loved. And that is when we would start improvising and the crew would hate it. And it would be late after a take when like the two writers would laugh. We would go, look at the crew. You guys are dying. <laughs> and I go, look at Cameron B over there. Paul, he's like, oh, he can't even hold it. I want, I respect your professionalism for not laughing during my take. And they would go like, it wasn't funny. I'm like, even now sticking to it. And then Max would go like, the boys are cooking with gas. Like, everybody hated it. And so you, Do you think started, if we were to ask that, those, those everybody, they would come back with nostalgic. Yeah, but that was a great time. It'd be like, it kept us for too long and they're upset. Both. I yeah. think sometimes you'd get laughs and sometimes they would be, but in that vibe, you that's, but no, you'd get great moments. Cause then I would get insecure and I'd be like, I'm not with you, Max. I'm just a working class guy. Let's get out of here. Move and, the C stand. Yeah, let's go. And I know how to do this. We're gonna, let's get out of here. And then I would do a scene and the line would be, I would go like, all right, man, let's get our pants on and get out of here. And, I, and then his last line was supposed to be like, let's go. And I would go, let's get our pants on and get out of here. And he'd go, or keep them off. And we'd be in a two shot and I'd be like, everybody hates us. But I, I have to respond and go, so, why would we take them off? Are like, you lucky that you got on a show with people that then connect with you that way? Yeah. Right. That was the dream of it. So when you're on another show that could be a great show and you don't have those relationships I, with those people, you can't, there. there's nothing you could do. There's nothing I could do. Right. You don't have the thing. So do you say no to things if you can't be friends, if you think you won't be friends with the people? I did for a long time, but then it becomes difficult because I don't have that many friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're all busy. The way you were in childhood, I am in adulthood. <laughs> I had no idea though. Same. <laughs> so I was taking the show. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> Everybody's busy. What are you going to do? I guess they're not having uh, Emmy parties this year. Weird. <laughs> I guess I thought that was every year. I guess the business shut down on any agency party. All right. What are you going to do? I rewatched the comeback recently. Have you guys seen Lisa yeah. Kudrow's show? Great show. You ever seen it? I saw it years ago. Yeah. Uh, I was I rewatched it and this is the scene. She's dressed as a cupcake and does a physical thing and falls and then kept going. And then the 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 shithead showrunner who didn't like her is like, we had it after the first one. Right. And it was making me think of you jumping out the window. Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of the game, I honestly, this tone has been that our version of the, you know, being selective and difficult is maybe more right. But I actually think both are equally right because I love the shooter. And I think when I'm on set, Lamorne's a shooter, a Max is a shooter. So if everybody's one role on a show, you're in a danger zone because then nothing happens. You're saying if everybody's a shooter, if everybody is. But if only everybody's not, it's like for me, in a, if I'm in a certain scene. I'm not going to, on a tense day, if the scene's not funny, I'm not going to necessarily self-generate. I'm not going to go in the scene if Gareth and I are here and he's quiet, I'm with a guest star, and we're going and there's no bits. I'm not going to go, what if I make some funny sounds? That's what the scene is. Oh, I'll make funny sounds. But if somebody makes funny sounds, now I've got something because you need a shooter. And so I'm like, I think the shooters are the best in our game. And I love when, when a shooter misses, great, now we get to kill you. But if you make it, great. Now we get to celebrate. But so I always look for a true, and Greenfield's the biggest shooter. So when you get on a show, you're like, oh, this guy won't stop shooting. Wonderful. Do you make your choices before, or, or, when you're going through the script on something that you know already, yeah. you're season five. Yes. And you're going through, you know your character, you know what to do, blah, 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 blah. But are you looking through and are you are you punching up and making choices? You just wait until you rehearsal. Wait, I'm waiting to see what the other person does. Right. I truly believe the game is your role, going back to Del Close and Second City stuff, is to make Listening. the other person funny. And in doing that is where all the game comes from. Well, how do you make the other person funny? So if Lamorne starts, so for example, for the wedding call, so I don't have a lot of bits in there. He starts shooting. He's getting really mad. So I'm like, oh, there's laughs there. And Lamorne is killing it at the end. So my role is now just set sure. the thing. Yeah, really yeah. care. Yep. Really connect. Her. But and it's then, scripted, you already know what your, your role but is. But my favorite is the script is when I don't like when I have tons of dialogue and I have tons of stuff. I like when I'm in a really funny premise. And I'm in it mm -hmm. and you go like, and if the person knows how to shoot it and you cross it or you put, two, you know, you in a two shot, you go like, oh, now we can have a lot of fun when I'm in that and they don't let us play. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> We're yeah. right here right now. Like it's about to get really fun. Yeah. And so that's when I'll, when I'm on that is when I go like, I just have to leave this party. I love I have no place to here. hear you say that. I love that. Cause that's what I was saying. Like I'm hearing you saying, and I don't like that about myself. I've just, you guys, I guess I don't know what I'm missing. What do you I, mean? When I don't do stuff or if I don't want to be, if there's no play. Yeah. Stuff I've already talked yeah, about. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying that oh, like that's a, yeah, hearing yeah, 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 somebody yeah. who is as good as you at this thing, but you also feel this way. It's like, oh yeah, you could do that. Well, because I've been on those jobs and they go so sideways and then you're in scenes and you leave and I'm like, I didn't bring anything to the table. Yeah. And then they'll go, no, you were good. And I watch him back and I'm like, I was not good. Yeah. There's certain things I'll see where I'm like, I didn't bring anything to this. It's why I would have rather have done background than the waiter line. I totally agree. Because you're like, I'm not doing it. John I'm, would have preferred that too, probably. <laughs> no, he still would have been there for 10 hours. John's still there. <laughs> but if you're not doing that thing that you like to do and then you rewatch it, I'm not an actor's actor where I don't get to go like, Incredible. I disappeared in it. I don't want to disappear in it. I want to feel it. I want to be part of it. Um, before you guys go, uh, I've had I've called John with Max on and with Lamorne on. I want to see if I could get him on the phone real quick. Okay. Also, I thought, especially at the beginning, how bit heavy this would as end up going, but like very different than I expected. Same. And I, I also I also have noticed myself taking advantage, maybe making a worse podcast. But like like that's stuff that I would like if we got a coffee yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. first starting out I want to I ask didn't know you. this about you. I like you a lot more. I find you a really interesting guy, right? Uh, well thank you very much. But I also want to I thought it was an hour and a half of bits for sure. Uh, uh, I mean well it's this go back is, to the bits. This is gonna be the most expensive animation if we end up doing it. Um, but like, I, I don't know if my point is to talk to you or you uh, as much um, because they've seen it and you haven't. They've seen it and you haven't. But like, I'm sorry if I wasted everybody's time, but I got so much out of this. Thanks, man. So we'll we'll put in some more diarrheas and you'll, you know, we'll we'll do some uh, fun voiceover stuff. Yeah. That uh, if we need more bits after watching, but like, I got so much out of this. I've been feeling like really constructed. You've been in a thing. 
I've been in a thing with yeah. a few things and this thing has been part of it. And part of it is about the, the difference between this dream that is what we do and also to not let that cannibalize the fact that this is a job that we do. Yeah, totally. And then sometimes it's both and yeah. sometimes it's, but like, I haven't been working so much, but I'm enough to where I'm at a point in an age where it's like, I just want to only laugh and do Same. But I experimented. I did a, I wasn't sure. So the show I did on ABC, Stumptown, I took that with the idea of, you know, you have like a guy like Ted Danson. He spent seven years on CSI, just forgotten years. I'm so jealous of that. And my kind of thought is maybe that's who I could be as an actor. Because after New Girl, I was like, I was too much. By the end, I didn't what like how mean? I'd be, I was pitching yeah, too much. You, I was too, like. Right. I, as you, an actor. You as were, an actor. Yeah, right. When you say, I see that in me and I don't like it. Well, I saw it in me and I didn't like it. Right. And I was like, if I'm directing, I don't want me there. Right. It's too fucking much, man. Yeah. So I thought, well, maybe I'll be a different kind of actor. And then I was on a show for, you know, we did, I think we did two seasons of it. Couldn't have been nicer people. Really great, really fun. I just said the lines. And I'd be in like slightly like ABC dramatic moments where they'd be like, your father's coming. And I'd go like, <laughs> and I'd do the TV turn. They'd go, and cut. I'm like, that was it? And they go, great. And, and I'm like, that was nothing. And what's your takeaway? I had no joy besides I liked the people. And, and the th- hours. No, the hours were great on that one. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I like yeah. the hours. I like the people. But I'm like, but this isn't what I do. Right. So you can get somebody else to do that and they're going to be better at that. But the only way to do what you do is to you have to be, be annoying unless people or like you that find thing. your friends and you do right. it with a group exactly. where they go, we want your fucking weird ass. You might not be here every day, but when you come, this is what we expect. And then you're at that part. You go like this is these are my people, yeah. but you might have huge chunks. You don't work. Yeah. And I'm like, fine. Especially as everyone's getting younger. How's your uh, hair situation? You balled in it all? off the whole hats. Yeah. Go with it. <laughs> how you, how you doing in the back? It's a bit. Um, depends on the day. I think I'm okay. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you're fine. You're good. You're fine. Yeah. Mine's, mine's going. Put that on. You got that <laughs> one. Um, you, got yeah, uh, exactly. you guys could sh- put, just put the headphones in between you two that sure. are right there. Uh, the, uh, will you grab those? Um, Because you're going to need to hear them. The cans. Uh, cans. Pardon me. I said oh, yeah, headphones. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's union, so. Um. I'm giving John a call. And Jake, your dream of yours is to share ear space with people. So yes, exactly. Will you just uh, you just say hello to John? Sure. I guess he would know because that's my phone, so that doesn't work. But yeah. Yo, I got one minute before I got to get Iris upstairs. What's up? What's going on with Iris? I got, I got a big, big surprise for you, dude. One of your favorite actors of all time. Oh, let me think. My favorite actors of all time. Guess three. It's not an old Nikki Blue Eyes, is it? Yeah, I thought you were going to guess three different guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, really hoping well, for some humiliation there, my man. I told him about. Well, screw- I told him about how uh, you were sitting. You were sitting in the soundstage for ten hours in the middle in the dark, not able to watch. <laughs> Did you tell him how Megan Fox kicked us out of the makeup trailer? <laughs> yeah, we heard. Bleep it. <laughs> yeah, they, someone they kicked us in a dark out. Box, man. <laughs> we'll we'll wrap Dude, it up. Okay. We'll wrap it up, and 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 you got to take care of your baby. But um, uh, I thought we screw her, dude. I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> well, if you have any, you know, as a as a as a big time uh, uh, writing uh, team now, is there any anything that you want to pitch to them or or ask of them real quick? I mean, he's got a full slate. He's dealing with a full deck of cards. But yeah, we got a couple of projects he'd be right for. But they're in the development stage, getting directors attached. You know how it is. But he's top of mind. <laughs> What That's a cool. salesman. That's cool, man. Do you think we can get him another line? <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy, I'll get you an extra line for sure. That was hilarious. <laughs> I All right, like buddy. the sales pitch. Is there anything you want to pitch, for, dude? For, for, no, for, yeah, for real, real quick before I go, guys, uh, just thank you so much. That show is such an important show in an era where comedy keeps shrinking. That is one of the all-timers, and you deserve everything you get, my friend. Oh, thanks, brother, man. It's nice to hear, bud. How All right, you, guys. Can't wait to see it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, never get. You tried to make a small talk. Uh, he, um, uh, we just re- finished rewatching you. I think like a week ago or New Girl. He's it's like one of his favorite shows. That's really um, nice. Just in case, if that didn't sound sincere, because yeah, 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 yeah. of energy, he he means it. Um, well, 
This was a, a, a different style podcast. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to do yours if I, I don't want to do Zoom. Okay, so we'll explain, you, but explain what that is. Yeah, so because now we've heard it twice, and I'm new to the podcast game. Yes. this is a theme. Uh, have you, could you hear me? Yeah, yeah, You're right. That kind of stuff that happens all the time. Go, oh. you go, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, the breaking that doesn't happen with us, does it? Not really. No, yeah. we've been pretty lucky. If uh, yeah. But I hear you. It's also, and you're not in the room, and there's no, no not energy. I get there's it. There's no facial things, and and it's it's a it's a, a silly thing, but it's also like it's hard enough to be likable. I'm not gonna shine on Zoom, <laughs> you know. I'm not. By the way, I look you shine now here. that I know you better. I respect your passing on it. You're saying these are my rules. We'll make it work. We'll get. But you why can't you have people come in? Where I mean, where do you? We do don't it? have a studio right now. Oh, you guys are both of you We're in separate not places. Together. Yeah, he, he's on the road all the time. He's I'll tell you what, GarethReynolds.com. Why Thank don't you? you. Why don't, I'll I'll put it all together you guys edit it but i'll send it to you come here one time and do it uh for your podcast yeah, well we're just starting we uh we'll have somewhere to do it soon, soon. yeah nice but this is it's all kind of but we people, love it here yeah. that's not a knock on this place this is a great place yeah but the more people we're you ask for a water saying, you get a tea yeah i'm sorry about <laughs> that I, I, I had some sparks jake hasn't that. had a sip of any beverage no. the whole time will you give us one Free wacky style. voice? No, oh. a freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Because you're good at it. Love to hear a wacky voice. Uh, yeah. And it's surprising you're good at it because I thought you were going to be comedically bad at it. But I loved the commitment that I was like, <laughs> get a even the Lisa face. Gilroy one, I was like, that's that sounds good. Can you, you do a wacky voice to combine? I'm not a notes? great voice guy. Oh. Can you do You did any... pitch a wacky voice. I thought that's what you were going to ask of me. Can you give say us any sort of oh, freestyle okay, gotcha. about we're here to help? Our podcast. Um, yeah, I think so. But before that, let me have a let me tell you something. Okay. So we talked about this outside for a sec before mm-hmm. we came in. We're a little bit of a place. Meaning? I'm not. I'm not been. I have. I haven't been the silliest Rick I've ever been. Oh, you get. I haven't been serious. the most playful. I, I don't think it's an accident. that This ended up becoming that. Oh, you're changing. I mean, maybe I'm a little too That's sad. A a little That's a silly voice. That's a silly voice. You also did the Spider-Man shooters where you nearly shit your listen, pants. I, listen, I'm no, still- No, you did I'm, shit. Hey, we got I'm covered st- in I'm shit. still an artist. Yeah. But you're stepping- All right, I'm not going to pick you But I'm also, I'm also, I'm also, and I know you could connect to this. Yeah. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This respect. isn't, by I don't way, feel it. So this is pass. pushing back to the- No, dire- this by the way, This is sort of the collaboration you were And as the director, when you talk about, you know what I would say here? Let's move away from it. That's what she said. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> but because me, if somebody doesn't want to do something, why do it? I'll tell you why. Why? Because you've offered me so much joy. Let me share it with the audience. Mm. Two, three, four. You guys give me a beat. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll, I'll do it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. my li- I broke my lip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had panic. Um, <laughs> you have to say panic. shooter, not shooter. <laughs> yeah, right. Somebody give a beat. <laughs> yeah. He starts uh, going. And he it's not himself. good and it's painful, but I'll struggle <laughs> but through you it. fucking shoot. I want do the I money. Have, does it? Um, because be I, whatever you want. Or, yeah. or I want because I don't know what your channel name is and all this stuff. We're here to we're help. We're here to help. Right, but maybe we'll just we'll put up a text during this that says sure. we're here to help. Okay. Sure. But I don't want to have to do any do any any no. words. Respect. It doesn't. Yeah. Do you think? I want to do any words I want. Respect. Yes. We're here to help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you need the headphones. I can. You just put it between you guys. Yeah. So you can hear the music a little the bit. The Johns. This one's cool because it has a picture of a. Of a guy with a hat and a cigarette, a black guy with a hat and a cigarette. It looks, yeah. it seems authentic. Yeah, it's the Sensodyne commercial. It's it's just playing at first. Um, but by the way, honestly, if you go to sensodyne.com slash Tyso, get twenty percent off your first bottle of toothpaste. You're very good at this. and free shipping. Mm. Oops, I like what I heard. What's it called again? We're here to help. There's a hat there. Yeah. Those are your only lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't here to sell. Fuck that. We here to help. I ain't nothing like you giving when you push it when the gimmicks never stopping me. Going straight to hell. Listen, how many times do I tell you I'm drifting, I'm driving, I'm drunk, and I'm loving and ha, laugh for a minute and then taking the back. Like this bounce, up. bounce, beat it up, kill. Here to help, silly and sizzling, love it and nothing or call it and zoom it or nothing and trouble and trouble. I'm listening well now, gimmicks. Hit it. I ain't do bits unless I'm in it. Fuck it. I say no. Who you at now? Shoot, let's go now. Oh, we only do it when you hold it. When you hold it, yeah, I'm going. I don't do the 
but we have to fill this in. So I'm just holes and bits just showing it. You ruining me, you feeling it, but no, you stop the dimming it. Oh, 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 listen, bitch, dick, clip, tit, grab it, suck it, wiggle, it, coming, going, hold up, flowing, coffee, roaming, eating butt, in the zoning. I'm telling you it works. It's funny, it's cool, it's quirky. People like tits, people like dits, people like clits. No one likes dicks, unless they're gay, and that is fine. Psych, never be gay, never be gay, never be gay, never be gay. If you're gay, call you, you're here to help. You'll convert people so they okay. don't go straight to hell. Wait, isn't it true you told me before we came on you don't like that they... No, you like a rope. Homophobic bitch, we're here to help the gays, change them, fix them, get them to heaven. But you know, <laughs> jokes aside, I'm just messing. Me, but you know, you, pretty good, man. I'm pretty good. Really At the, the end, there really it definitely. The I think it went away from yeah. the the, the after the chorus I, vision of our yeah. show. Yeah, but after the chorus, I was oh, I was I was kind of just like yeah. But until then, doing it was more great. of like the stuff you told me before you came on. <laughs> yeah, right. But right. that is the stuff that like you guys feel right. Like you're no, both straight. No, no, we want to. Are you a couple straight white guys? Putty. Are you a couple <laughs> straight white guys? No comment. Why is there no diversity? No, no comment. Why in your rapping? The first. Why is there no diversity in a white guy rapping? I set you up for that, fool. You are taking from another culture, you clown. It's all going to be edited out. We're going to voice over you. <laughs> Lamorne even said you said the N word all the time. <laughs> Yeah, we need another podcast with a couple of straight white guys give, t t giving uh, us all help. All right, the rap is taking a dangerous direction. Uh, I don't know if you're still doing it. We another podcast in some guy's living room where a white guy raps silly. Fuck off, man. I think they're both great shows. Shoot it. That's We're Here to Help. You can check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash we're to help or just YouTube search we're to help. You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the major plays, all the major players. Make sure to check out we're here to help.com if you want to pick up one of their crazy hats. And also stay tuned because we are finding a studio soon. People like Andrew Santino from Bad Friends and Whiskey Ginger. I'm going to be there. We're very excited. There's also great episodes already out there with Lamorne. Has Max been on yet? Yes. By the way, like I said, there's only 20 episodes. By the time this comes out, there'll probably be 40. But I've watched almost all of them, at least nine. It's it's really one of the funniest. It's one of the funniest, one of the funniest podcasts you guys have. So thank you <laughs> so awesome. much for, for coming you. on. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're always welcome. Now thank that you, you guys are part of the yeah, Tyso universe, you. if you ever want to come on by just for a little for a whole time, Do I'll make sure to have some sparkling water. I could I I don't okay but uh, I, but I do have these marine layer pants. No 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 we heard no we heard about those. That's the only problem is I can't decide do I want to wear these to to a formal wedding or do I want to sleep in them? Okay dinosaurs. Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Theme music. I'll see you. Blabbery blue. <laughs> Scoop Big dee 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 dee. Oh, man. Yeah.